I'm going to have a bottle opening of Opening the voice channel so people can hear what we're actually discussing, even though there's nothing going, we're not actually live yet. Right. Well, okay, okay right in. now. We have three oh people. Oh my gosh, that's... Shane. We have three people <laughs> okay, watching I'm the live keeping, stream I'm... at a minute. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I... Laughing. Keeping this hand look at, right. Look at the public chat. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I want to. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. <laughs> okay, that's got me concerned. Oh goodness gracious. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you've been working on all day, Jean? This is my important thing that I was working on. I couldn't find a good bitmap image. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay. It reminds me of our. It reminds me of our Christmas episode where we. Uh, um, we where we put I put uh, Santa hats on uh, tree beard. Whole thing. <laughs> yep, same thing. So go ahead right now, guys, and decide what ships you want if you haven't already. Uh, generally, I think what we're going to be doing is everyone's going to start in the same flotilla. chat. <laughs> the tortilla flotilla. So everyone's going to start in the same chat, and we're going to read the flavor texts again, and then you guys are going to decide. The three teams will decide who's taking 1A, 1C, and 1E. We'll read kind of the flip side. You guys will do your startup hands, and then we'll a... reconvene briefly. Oh. I already have my startup hand. Okay. David's ready it. to go. Is this where ready the to go. hang out? Hey, hey, hey Grandpa! My boy! Huh. Hippo, my boy. Hippo boy, where are you? Grandpa, Chrissy is so excited. Are you, oh, are you playing you. with, uh... Hippo boy, are you playing with, uh, COTR? <laughs> Chrissy! Hello, virtual hello. He's telling you hello. Hello! <laughs> Ted's on the uh, Wandering Tooks team, I think. Yeah. In the Wandering Took team? I just wanted to pop. I need to simulate, you know, like walking by someone else's play table. Right back, guys. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then, like, oh, hey, guys, what's yeah, up? You know? Um. <laughs> it's okay. So, I'm pretty sure Grant needs the Silver Wing. Um, I can take the Dream Chaser since it, it, you know, it allows me to, get, to uh, commit to the sailing test. <laughs> All the time. Uh, okay. I know Dave and I, we were debating who got Narlenia and who got Dawnstar, right? Um, yeah. Um, let's see here. And I thought, after our test run, we'd come to the conclusion that that I could use the the resources and he could use the cards more than the other way around. You could be wrong on that, and we'll, if he's not here, we'll ask him when he get back, gets back, but... Does the silver wing not help him as much as I think it does? Okay, I'm back. We have everybody but Chad at this point, it looks like. All three of the quest cards should be out there, or all, three, all four of the ships, you guys can see them. Yeah, yeah, Just I'm just making sure, because they're talking about the uh, the Dawnstar versus the uh, Narlenia. Ah. Uh. But the, uh, the Silver Wing adds attack, which seems good for three hunters. None of it will help you. Oh. <laughs> we have different boats. <laughs> One of the quest cards sinks all four of your ships at the same time, so choose wisely out of the gate. I'm going to close the door on it. Um, I definitely don't need anything with the allies. Uh, that might be best with the Sylvans, right? Um, I, Just a second. I'm pulling... Mine out. I've got a uh, Rohan discard deck. Oh, okay, cool. Which was why we were uh, right. That makes going sense. back and forth on that. Um, and last time we tried it with me taking the card draw and and Dave taking the uh... reduction. The cost reduction, and neither of us used it as much as we thought we were going to. I think so we seems relevant for Rohan because they tend to run out of cards pretty quickly. 
That is true. All right, where am I looking at? Where did it go? There it is. And it might just be that my uh, my deck was hemorrhaging allies because we kept on capturing Corsair skirmishers. That and is so also I felt like I never had a board state. <laughs> Crowding you a little bit there. Nice placement. Thank you. Um, I really think we don't want Grant to be first player, though. Just saying. Ah, sailing's not that important. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Um, not not until he can ready again, at least. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay, so who do you uh, want us to swap places with? Um. Ideally, I'm thinking either Sylvan's or Rohan as first player, the other as second, and then put Grant as maybe third. Okay. What do you think, Grant? Well, okay, I'll just swap with you then, Sam, if you want to go first. <laughs> and, that leaves, mm -hmm. and that leaves Dave in the middle. And then... Yeah, that seems good. If we have Rohan go first and Grant will go third, that'll give him turns to set up. <clears throat> and that'll give the, uh, the ally decks the advantage to get their allies down right away. Fair enough. So Shane, are you the Dawn Star then? Or the Dream Chaser? Uh, uh no. Yeah, if that's if that's okay with everybody else. Oh yeah. Cool. And then we get to name it, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll try to think up of a witty name that fits with the theme that the rest of you guys are trying to set, but... Want us over at the command post, boys. Okay, sure. And the send-off took forever. <laughs> Did you have to like pack of like seventeen million things and yes. like, remember the bug spray and like yes. oh wait Chad go get this yeah 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 oh he, we haven't packed any clothes for Abby yet and oh we need to I'm just like okay whatever they were planning on leaving the driveway at seven o'clock like but I have a game at seven thirty I thought they were leaving at six so yeah oh uh, well <laughs> uh, let's see did they actually leave they left ten minutes ago. That's good. That's not horrible by Walt. At least in my household, that's not bad. That's on pay. <laughs> I know, right? There's a lot of people in the command post. I He's know. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we are. Now, for those of you who are streaming, uh, let's. Uh, do you guys want to do an introduction for your streaming, or do you want to uh, just let me do the introduction for everybody? Go nuts. Go nuts. Okay. Uh, then go ahead and Get your streaming going, and we're working on it. We'll as get going. Here. Can. Once you're streaming. all set up, then let me know, and I'll say hi to everybody. Our voice is up. I don't know. Yeah. Did you? Is our voice coming through right now? Um, I hear you. Yep, the voice. I know, is but up. I don't know if it's okay. And um, the voices, and I've now got the game screen live as well, just so I don't forget <laughs> to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. A little song here. Yeah. Is it a sea shanty? <laughs> sailing, sailing across the bounding main. Nobody. Oh, no, when no, Irish no. eyes are smiling. No. <laughs> the Irish. Yeah, very long <laughs> The man who posted Sailor Pippin's chest. 
Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. What do we do with a drunken sailor? <laughs> oh, oh man. Back and then we mail her. <laughs> That's Captain Pippin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not drunk Is somebody enough for disapproving this. in the background of the singing? <laughs> Arr, that's the chap thar. We got the chap in the in the Discord server. Where do we go? I believe we have an accord. Go ahead, <laughs> ladies. All right, everybody. Arr. Everybody oh, on? We're not ready. Not yet. Okay. Yar. Oh, we are. We are. Right. Yar. We are. Yar. Yar. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait. Did the Dark Tower series from, uh, was how they said yes. Tower one, series. I, I have one thing to do. Everyone, you ready? Did you hear that? Yes. yes. That was me setting the swag down right next to my mic. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's a taunting five yard penalty. <laughs> Don't do that. We can still adjust the encounter deck, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just let me know. Is the is the swag what you've been using instead of your weights to get swole recently? Is that mm -hmm. what it is? It sounded heavy. I may have put some extra oomph when I send it down. Yeah, I was just to make it. sure, just to make sure it made a noise. Because <laughs> it would have been really <laughs> anticlimactic if it was just you know a you know a piece of cotton touching a, a mouse pad. And then <laughs> did you hear that? No, uh -uh. no dog. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. What'd you do for Klondike? Bird of the Ring swag. Oh. All right, I joined the game here. Okay, join the game. Uh, do we have everybody uh, starting at the stream already? Or are we waiting for the game to start for that? Uh, my, my stream, stream is, is Our stream is ready to go. Okay. My stream uh, should be live, yeah. Okay, so we're right. Okay, so let's do the introduction. And before we can get the game going after that. But um, <clears throat> hello, everybody. Hey, hey. Boss Haven. Hello. Hey. <laughs> we have been working on this Hi. for what three months now? Two months? I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, and so we being myself, salted pork, and Triton Wreck. And are really excited to share this with you guys. So uh, excited to play it. Thank you very much. This is gonna be super exciting to play. I know. I, I can't wait for you guys to finish so I can play it with whoever wants to play again afterwards. Yeah, man, totally. <laughs> Maybe not tonight, but like tomorrow. So don't hold your breath. That'll be like four in the morning. <laughs> we'll we'll does, see how well it goes. Whoever wants does, to play again. <laughs> yeah. Does this count as a win for this particular quest for the massive... Um, oh, yeah. I think yes, we should definitely does. count that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, this should be... Uh, I did that we do win. I don't, I don't want to, like... Right, yeah. Or, I don't want to put the boot before the horse here, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, this should yeah, be we'll, a step yeah. up in difficulty from the regular one, but you are playing with four players, which is usually the easiest way to play the other one. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, no pressure, but we beat this two-handing it, each of us. We did, and it was hard. It was really hard. <laughs> so I was sweating. <laughs> Just laying down a challenge there so we look extra bad when we fail. Is that how this is? I, I threw down the challenge. Broke. None of you guys took it. I was saying, does somebody want to take this up in, in nightmare mode? And none of you guys have accepted. So, yeah, because we're not mad. Have you like, well, we're, we're gonna our, fail. our weapons, we our weapons fail, are like, limited badly. to mental at this point? <laughs> oh, man. All right, so the first step we've got to do is you guys need to pick a quest stage. There are three of them. Seven. We have. Uh, <laughs> we spoiled the flavor text for that this week. You can see it in the announcements channel. Uh, but for everybody watching who can't see the announcements, let's let's go ahead and read. Um, I'll read the first one. Bob, you want to take the second one? Eric, take the third one? Yes. All right. First one. Corsairs are attacking the fortified city of Dal Amroth to cover Sahir's escape to Umbar. The Corsairs must be bold to attack such a stronghold, but they have caught you by surprise. The call to arms has rung out through the gulf and down the coast. You must hold the bay while the rest of the fleet rallies to join the fight. Holding one the bay. C. Okay. One C says the distant sounds of warning bells are quickly followed by beacons being lit. Dal Amroth is under attack. You must light your beacon to rally your fleet and sail up the coast to their aid before they are overwhelmed. Gondor calls for aid. Is this really what's going on? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the cards. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. I'm doing one E. Uh, yep. Okay. Your watchman spot the merchant ship Erlen, fleeing towards your island depot, closely pursued by Corsair ships. While rushing to assist, you notice smoke billowing in the direction of the city, Cobus Haven, must be under attack. Ready your fleet, rescue the Erling, and sprint to the bay. Dull Amroth must be saved. I the only one who got super hyped as it was like day after day. It was just like building and building and building. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is hype. I loved it. <laughs> that was our goal. We were hoping that would be the case. All right, so this part you guys need to decide which one you want to do. Just based on, on flavor. Based Going on in blind. Text. Going on yeah. text. Yeah. Um, I thought we were going to get the cards in this channel. Oh, no, 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 man. Before you get the cards. Heck no, no we wrote no good time. flavor text. Yeah, that's uh, right. Okay, we're going okay. Blind, blind, blind. Let's, okay, let's rescue uh, the airline, stream, boys. Do any of you mind going to the warning bells? The middle one. Light the beacon. So there's, there's the... There's the we're already in the war in the first one, and then the light the beacon is the second one, and the third one is... Race. So two racing and one. You have to. Is there any particular group that is really up for just thing off ships? All right, Quasi. I didn't mean to clear your thunder there. I guess right. So good, man. I was just thinking like that. That middle one sounds the easiest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you right. sweet, sweet man. If you have Pippin, you just auto succeed. You just exhaust Pippin and you auto succeed. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> what if Pippin is wearing a, a pirate hat? Uh, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> what do you think our decks are particularly good at? We were able to really stuff pretty. I would suggest. I don't know. I don't know anything about the other guys' decks, but our deck was throwing stuff into the victory display pretty, pretty well. So if we can get stuff in the victory display at the beginning, it's going to help us up the rest of the game, right? Yeah, that's how the deck works. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, if, the, if there's but, no I mean, encounter like, so deck, if we're I'm attacking. Win. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's the only. So if we if we take the first one, it may not be horrible, right? Sure. I mean, yeah, we're just going by by flavor text here, which is great. No. <laughs> well, yeah, the flavor text is amazing. It puts you right into the thing. So. <laughs> They're timing okay. us, you know. The, sure. the longer we take, the more damage is going to be on Kobas. I know, right? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, we can, we can do the first one. I'm cool with that. Let's, is everybody else? Yeah. Okay, which team is that? Yes, we're I'm the okay card, talk, card talk stream. Maybe we <laughs> should all inter We should introduce our teams and who's on them while we're all here together. That sounds perfect. Card talk. Well, who's, on your, who's on your stream? Oh, uh, um, card talk. Uh, we have Card Talk Dave, that's me, and then we have uh, DTP Anzu, that's Grant, hey. um, who is a co-host for my uh, for the podcast. And we also have uh, Salted Pork, who is running the Encounter deck, and can I find Anitsin? Mm -hmm. Anitsin uh, is there, and Adderkop is also on our stream. Shane, Adderkop, and Anitsin is Samuel. It's our four. Yep. All right, so you guys have selected one. We'll finish the introduction in a second. Um, but once everybody has selected one, I'm going to send you guys, each team, to go do the setup. And then once setup is done, then we'll come back and reveal the uh, second side of each card. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, it actually matters. We share our pain. Consequences. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> actually, I've never been this excited to play a game of, of, <laughs> of Lord of the Rings ever. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, next team. Which one's the next team? Whoever said it speaks up first. Uh, we'll do ours. So I'm Chad, and with me, why don't you guys just introduce yourselves so I don't accidentally mispronounce any real names or fake names. So, so I'm Joseph, and I'm still deciding what deck to play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Thomas, also known as Thomas. And hopefully a American just murder things before they get to us. At least that's the goal. Yeah, this is David or the Prancing Pony, uh, rocking a classic old board deck today. And I'm Joe, Purple Wizard. I'll be running the encounter deck for them. All right, so what's your quest stage? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, we could do the merchant ship, maybe. Sure. That works. Okay. As long as Amber gets to kill both, I don't <laughs> Yeah, that won't be a problem in this quest. Well, that's, how Grant, that's how Grant feels. He just wants to kill things. <laughs> yeah. Right, what 13. can I see? I'm a blood fish. Uh, hi, I'm Michael, Wandering Tuke, and I am not playing. I'm just streaming for everyone. Uh, this is going to be Triton Rex Group. <laughs> I Triton Rex on mute, uh, so he's not going to be talking much. But okay. I'm, uh, I, I'm Quaz, uh, and I'm UK-based, so if I fall asleep halfway through, I do apologize. Just shout really loudly in my ear. <laughs> I'm Pocket Wraith, also known as the Warden One, or also UK based, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to fall asleep. Oh. <laughs> Shot fired, I guess. That's okay, right. you can be in charge of waking me up then. Uh, I'm, Just I'm give him a kick. I'm Ted, <laughs> and uh, I've, I've, I've betrayed. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, David, but I've, but I've betrayed you, and I'm not playing on your team. Oh, we we that's how we organized it. <laughs> Didn't want. We to. stole the hippo. We heard that hippos sail really well. Yeah, it is the best deck builder that I've ever seen. Him no, David, you're the best deck builder I've ever seen. <laughs> Quite I'm literally. You Quite too. literally. <laughs> Get a room. <laughs> now you see what I have All to right. put up with. <laughs> Dang, I have nothing, placed the set of cards. love on our show. Forgot uh, bed. Yeah. Dog three is out there. He's also party No. Oh yes, I'm the somebody. dog three, also known as Ben. And that's okay. everybody. Everybody, all right. I have placed the three setup cards in the Cobus Haven cards folder up there. So if you're watching the stream, you can maybe head over there. Uh, the people running the stream can look at that and see what we've done. And then for each team, go to your voice channels and then finish setup. Once you finish setup, we'll all come back here together. So come back to command post when you finish setup. And we will reveal the rest of it after that. Cool, cool. All right. Catch you in a bit, guys. The card hugs. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. All right. You guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Why is it always you Everybody guys? Oh, no. I know. <laughs> Okay, so set up. Set up 1A. Prepare the Corsair deck. Prepare the pair. Prepare their fleet. At the air, air, airling and the beacon aside out of play. If both. Hello. Beacon. The one that prevents four. <laughs> four damage. Four archery damage. Uh, anyways. Both Dal Amrath warships. The team at 1C. So uh, they get Dal Almroth warship, warship. It's the encounter deck for the Raider flagship. One copy of Kobas Haven, docks of Dal Amroth, and add them to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck, then resolve the guarded keyword on the docks of Dal Amroth. So we have the oh, docks boy. of Dal Amroth, and let's see. We have a Raider flagship. In the right, uh, cool. search the encounter deck for the Raider flagship. One copy of the uh, what's the scouting ship doing there? It was part of the setup, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it should be part of the setup. setup. What's the Cobra? No, 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 it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Whoops. All right, <laughs> okay. What? I'm just double checking here. Uh, that's all right, you'll, the... you'll be seeing it soon enough. Don't you worry. One copy of Cobas <laughs> Haven. So, this, this comes out says the docks of Dal Amroth add them to the staging area. Okay. Then it says shuffle the encounter deck, then resolve the guarded keyword on Which this. I just did for here. Okay. Uh, is, which it's, it's not revealed. Not, it's not guarded um, location or enemy. It's just guarded, which means that treachery will fire as the oh, guarding part. Right. Okay. Nice. Great. Okay. So that's, that's, I hate that rule. That's right. Okay, so, thank you. We have a free Dox of Dol Amroth. It did uh, gain Guarded 2, though. Not Guarded, Doomed 2, though. Oh, yeah. Each so you just get Doomed 2. Okay, Doomed 2. Okay, so everything's free. And then it says, so 
we've done everything on one A. Yes. Um, it do have to give both of our warships uh, to one C. I I basically just put them off to the side since they're going to be that, out of they're going to function as out of play. Yeah. So this is out of play. This is out of play. This is out of play. Samuel. Yes. Before we going here, um, you and I did we agree on this? Um, because last time we had one, we were you said it didn't matter. I think, I think we felt like it didn't matter, but then we, we this is the same setup we had last time, right? Correct. And did you want to? I'm okay to draw? switching. I think okay. it. I I think it might be better off if we switched, but I don't we know can, if it will make can, a huge difference. You can switch. I'm okay, okay. With switching. So let's. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. I do seem okay. to remember that you were uh, a little bit starved for cards, and I was a little bit starved for resources. So. Uh, whatever. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. Okay. So I just wanted to make that clear. Okay. So I'm gonna have the Dawn okay. Star, and I'm gonna be able to draw. Okay. Okay, David, do you oh, want to open your um, hand so people can see what you've got? Look at that. Uh, Shane, is your threat supposed to be a 13? We just got Doom 2. Uh, uh, oh, it's because of uh, Robin. Yeah, sorry. And Shane, do you want to open your hand up as well? Because all we're seeing is rings. You betcha. Okay, um, so Sam, since you're down as first player, do you want to introduce your deck on what you're running? Sure. Um, and I just realized just now that I forgot to add Keenan's Lances, and I'll deal with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm Samuel, and I'm running a Rohan Ally discarding deck, which is not a deck that sees much play in the current meta, but uh, I wanted to have fun, and this deck is fun. So it, resol it revolves around getting a lot of allies onto the table and into the discard pile, and then recycling them with with wine and gambling and all sorts of other fun stuff. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm next. And so uh, I'm running my a version of my Slippery Sylvans. I took out um, took out a Quicker Than Sight, because there's, as far as I know, there's not a lot of horrible um, shadow effects add uh, keen as lances so, uh, but other than that it's a pretty typical um, typical sylvan deck so. okay I'm up next yep. and I'm running one of my three hunters variants um, as people have come to know me that I run Grimby on in nearly every three hunters deck I make at the minute um, it follows Grimbion, Bard, and Legolas for some range damage to help take the ships out and any enemies that come off the encounter deck without actually engaging unless I have to. And just dealing a lot of damage. <laughs> um, and last but not least, we have Shane. Oh man, I would hate to be least. Um... <laughs> Uh, well, you are the I smallest mean, you out only of have, all of them. You only have 18 threat. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. You're right. Uh, you may remember me from such films as Siege of Anuminas or uh, the other one we played. So I'm playing... <laughs> Attack on Dol I'm playing these, uh... That's the one. Thanks, Troy McClure. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Lore Hobbits. It's an encounter control deck, and uh, I'm going to be hiding behind Grant. So he can take care of everything <laughs> and do all the fighting. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to look good and remain unscathed. <laughs> Skeeved? Unscathed. Yeah, well, that's, that's the idea of hobbits. They're only like three foot high, so they can all stack behind right. Grimbion, and he's still towering above <laughs> them. <laughs> <laughs> the real name of my ship is the SS Grimbion. <laughs> it's as big as a ship. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's doomed one for the table if you do not refer to your ship name as the created ship name. Oh, you got it. Okay. The Tortilla Flotilla. <laughs> That's it, right there. The Tortilla Flotilla, everybody. I just want someone to panically scream that they need the Tortilla Flotilla <laughs> to protect them. <laughs> That's Sentinel! Sentinel Tortilla Flotilla! Um, Tortilla for short, if you want. 
So I've taken. I'll call this... mine the stable. It's yours. The stable. Stable. Yes. Stable for his horses. Oh, because yeah. that's where yes. all the horses are, right? Cause... Because of course you take horses with you on a boat. So you do. Anybody playing with Treebeard? This he boat's is the most my friends. <laughs> that's such a good name. <laughs> the end lives. <laughs> Uh, Grant, what's the name of your ship? The Bear. <laughs> the Bear. The bear. bear. That's easy. The Bear. The Bear. <laughs> the Bear. <laughs> bear. <clears throat> Mine is, of course, the oh. Frothy Pint. You know why the Hobbits couldn't go see the new, go see the new, uh, the new pirate movie, right? Uh, is it because it was rated R? <laughs> Oh, because it was rated R. <laughs> right. Okay. Sorry, my accent. So, if, if we're done, do we just want to hop in the um, command chat? Well, I, um, I was just going to check. Does anybody want to take a mulligan before um, we hop over into command chat? Oh, yeah, and then you guys are locked in. Yeah. I, I actually really like my opening hand here. So, and I took my mulligan already. Okay, I'll like, take. I'm Bob, how mulligan. come you don't have a hand? Yeah, can we see because your hand? Because I am running the encounter deck. So, uh, do you want to take a mulligan? Uh, yeah, I would love that heavy cruiser to attach to the docks, personally. <laughs> but... <clears throat> I'll take the Doom, too. Sometimes it's the smallest things that make the biggest difference. You've got to take... Fair. Enjoy yeah, the yeah, little yeah. victories. A shadow of the past. Ugh. That's going to work great with the warships that are going <laughs> to the victory display. Okay. okay. So I'm jump over to the command post. Yep. Basically, this is our. This is just our chat again. Here we go. Oh no! Everybody's coming over now. We must have been the slow ones. You've kind we of just finished our area. And everybody swarms. <laughs> Trying to come in and then it moving the command away from me. No. Like, I'm not gonna, I don't want to tap on hands. <laughs> Please I don't. I think my uh, partner I, would have a I problem with that. I was going to accidentally join the wrong chat. <laughs> There's no... Rules. Special rules for this. Oh, special rules. Yeah. Well, now, we did share this uh, last night. So you can see the picture in the Coba Saving Cards. If you go there. Uh, Seaward Tower, Tower of the Gull, and Tower of the Heron all gain the Tower trait and are considered to be Tower Objectives. So, okay. if something refers to Tower Objectives, it's referring to that. Uh, each one of you guys will have started off with a different objective as your fourth objective. And uh, they all do different things, and they're all starting and playing in different ways, but they will be yours for the rest of the game, most likely. We'll okay. see what happens. Um, Another thing, when the team reaches the end of the round, they pause there until all teams have reached the end of the round. All end of round effects are resolved together. Each team may then start a new round. That's typical of epic multiplayer stuff. That's You guys have done it before. Right. Uh, okay. At the end of the round, any player may exhaust one non-unique ship objective that you control to give it to another player on any team at the same stage. It enters the new player's control exhausted with all previous tokens and conditions still on it, and no player may control more than three ship objectives at once. Oh. You have to exhaust it, and you can't use it that round. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, you can get it in the hands of somebody who needs it. Uh, now, it says sure. same stage, so at the moment, none of you are at the same stage, but when that changes, you have the ability to do this. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, uh, now... You will see, soon see that uh, ship enemies will have different occasions where they will switch staging areas as well. Uh, oh. So if that happens, any ship enemies or condition attachments that would be placed in the discard pile of a team other than the one they were originally drawn from are instead removed from the game. Place them in the original team's discard pile at the end of the round. So you can't just give all your ships to one other team and then it's all in their draw pile and not in yours. Once it's destroyed from somebody else's, it goes back to yours. Okay, that's Now, if it's not destroyed, but it's like said, placed in the victory display, then that would be a different story. Um, okay. 
And there is here at the end, uh, if you if somebody at some point kills the Raider flagship, uh, the start of the next round, every player on every team has the opportunity to reduce your threat by 10. Hmm. And Ooh. all heroes do not exhaust a quest or sail that round. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that might hey, be valuable Jordan, at some point. Where yeah. are these cards at? Okay, so these cards, uh, there's a section called Kovas Haven Cards. It's yeah. in the text channels. Uh, it is just above the 1A, 1C, 1E. Oh. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. So that is the first side of the <clears throat> rules. The second side uh, is specific to stage 2A, 2B. So um, I'm going to put that out there right now. And we'll cover that here. I ask a real quick question. Yeah, go for it. If, uh, if we, if is the Dream Chaser is still a lost condition? Yes. Okay. We Oops. tried not to change any of the text on any of the cards as much as possible. It's fine. I just want to make sure that if we, if the, if any one of us loses the Dream Chaser, yep. do we, I does can't the... Lose the Dream Chaser because I'm not sailing in the Dream Chaser. I was told to name it something else. <laughs> well, we the, named it the card named formerly Darth known as the Dream Chaser. No, the one with the, the printed... Prince of Cards. Okay, so we've got a 2B end of the round checklist that I'm placing out here right now for reasons you will soon understand. At the end of the round, any team on stage 2B has to resolve this uh, from the top to the bottom. So the first player on each team at stage 2B must deal X damage among ships they control where X is twice the number of guarded Tower of the Gull objectives in play at any stage. So if some team that's not there yet has a guarded Tower of the Gull objective in play, it's going to be affecting any team that's at stage two. Ooh. Now that goes for the next two objectives as well. Uh, C Tower objective is going to exhaust X characters, uh, where X is the number of guarded C Tower objectives. So we have one of them somewhere else or in the same place uh, that means that the first player at stage 2B uh, is going to have to exhaust X number of characters. And then the Tower of the Heron uh, turns it into X random discards for the first player. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> okay. That's only see where the punishment's coming now. Jeez. Uh, oh, this is the light stuff. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Now, the first player uh, on stage 2B may exhaust a ship objective they control to engage a ship enemy in another team's staging area that is not guarding an objective. Both teams must be at stage 2B. So if you two have two teams at stage 2B, one of them can exhaust, uh, the first player on one team can exhaust a ship objective they control to engage a ship enemy from the other team's staging area. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And at the end of... Uh, all of we've done all of that. Then we would move the Raider flagship and all tokens on it to the staging area of the team at stage two B with the most ship enemies in play, including itself. If this is a tie, it doesn't switch teams. Uh, so even if you engage it and it stays with you, it's going to go back to the staging area. But if somebody else has more enemies than you, uh, then it will, or more ship enemies than you, then it will switch to a different team. Okay. Everybody, follow all that. Any questions? This is why we have somebody running the encounter deck so they yes, can remind will, us of all these new We got rules. three of us who, who made these and we know how these work and uh, we'll be able to run you through this. At the end of the round, each team can send a representative to uh, this command post and we'll be here to walk through the, all these different stuff that we're doing. Okay? That's great. Sounds good. All right, so let's talk about what's happening next now. How about the when revealed side? I don't want to know the when revealed side. <laughs> Here's 1B. Yeah. That's one B. One revealed. Each player must choose either add one resource to each of their hero's resource pools or draw three cards and advance to stage 2A. Oh, God. It's one of those. Oh, they're giving us something good. That's not yeah, that good. Feeling when you find out the exam is an open book. That's that feeling right now. Totally. Easy, I was just about to say, should we turtle on stage one? <laughs> uh... D. Let's see. Killing X is equal to the number of players at this stage times five. Okay, so you guys have 20 progress to make. And cards, starting tower objectives are immune to player card effects and cannot leave the staging area. 
A ship enemy engages you. If you are off course, deal two damage to a ship objective you can... Oh, okay, you guys ready to deal with that? We're already on 2A yeah, right. here, guys. I don't know, but we already made it through our first quest card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll, we'll deal. Oh, we have 30. What? A 30? It's 5. 4 times 5. No, plus 10. Because it starts with 10. For... 10 plus 5 plus 5 plus oh, 5 Oh, I see, five. I see. Okay. I got yeah. it. Okay. I wasn't sure who the stream chair. Yeah, card talk, you're on a you're, you're on a more on card cardboard. Okay. Um I also gonna have to reveal two A and two B, but before I do that, card talk needs to make the decisions about when revealed. And then we will all split up after that. Okay, so um as in our stream, each player must choose to either add one resource to each of their heroes or draw three cards. Which one? I'm going to draw three cards. Look how kind that is. I hate yeah, you all right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to draw three cards as well. One. Then stage two. 2A says raise your threat by one for every card in your hand. No! <laughs> Just in easy mode, guys. Or for each resource. It's going to give you extra cards. I'm also okay, is there, taking everybody three decided? cards. I'll take and you cards took three well. cards. In, so everybody took cards. Nobody right, took resources. You then you're moving on to 2A. <laughs> At 2A, here we go, guys. No, please. please don't make me discard my cards. I love these cards. <laughs> I love my cards too. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a ship enemy and add it to the staging area. Two ship enemies, if there are three or more, there's three or more players. Shuffle the encounter deck for each unguarded objective. Attach a non-unique ship enemy to the, the staging area to that objective guarding it. So, uh, everybody else can pay attention too because this will be the same two way you guys get because you're advancing to the same stage. <laughs> a salted pork. You need to find two ship enemies for us so we can choose. Can be the you same sure ship enemy. For you? Oh, I'm saying put them out there, and then we'll choose which ones we want. And then um, the scouting, ship, I think, is the one that's nice, right? Uh, the Corsair skirmishers aren't half bad either. If okay. we've got allies, although it is a little early to to deal with those. Yeah, we need one allies. Of those is have to go. One of those is going to have to go on the docks of Dal Amroth, because that's a guarded ship that's not guarded right now. Have you decided? Actually, this is not the right time of the game to grab Quest Star Skirmisher. No, it does not. Siege. The siege. Uh, the siege ship has archery too, but. Um... But no boarding. It's... That's nice. Boarding, and it'll be guarding an objective. So, I mean, that seems That's... like a no-brainer right now. Yeah, let's grab the siege ship and a, and a scouting ship, I guess. Yeah, I could, agree. We, I was going to say, we could do two siege ships. That's archery for, though. It does, doesn't have to say two. Right. Well, I'm just saying. It's, it doesn't say different. It's two. You could just do a warship. Just saying. <laughs> yes, we could do a warship. We're not going to do a warship, but we could. Right. All right, what's we the call? Could, so we're first going to... Do the siege ship that's going to come out and attach to the docks uh, to the uh, the docks, and then we'll and then we'll do the scouting ship, I guess. All right, then here's two B, or not two B, sailing. The beginning of the quest phase: discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a ship enemy is discarded. Uh oh, Ooh. good. Ooh. That's mean. You guys should be ashamed. <laughs> at, the end of the, at the end of the round, oh, all at the stage must resolve the 2B. Okay, so we're going to be resolving our 2B checklist all over the place, guys. <laughs> all teams are on 2B, and all objectives in all play areas are controlled by the players. All teams move on to stage 3. Ships in play moves on to 3A. The others moved it. Okay. All right. We're all set. Let's begin. I don't know if we're all set, but... Good luck, guys. You yeah, picked that stage. 
<laughs> don't worry, guys. I have yes, three extra cards in your over. hand, so you're fine. Don't worry. Everybody else is coming to help. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. Okay. See you in like four rounds. <laughs> 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 Okay, boy. I'd like to remind everybody that it's not lemonade sale in the bay that you're on right now. It's battle in the bay. So <laughs> I just want you to know I will be right back. <laughs> Two liters of soda right before I join. So I'll be right back. I'm going to do the opposite and uh, get another beer. I'll be right back. You can just I say that go, you're scared, Dave. I'm, I want to go and grab a glass so I can have some whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and fret anxiously over what the um, ship objective is going to be. Uh, can you wring your hands for all four of us in order? Yes, yes, I will. Okay, great, thank you. I, I can tell you from experience that this stage is a mother for trying to stay alive on. Yep. Like, two, two hand in this thing was no bueno. And, I mean, I'm just spitballing here, but I'm pretty sure that no matter how the deck is shuffled the first ship enemy off of the uh, off of the deck from that force discard effect every turn is the corsair warship right uh yeah i, I made sure to arrange it that way okay okay, okay i'm back okay. Um, you guys are on to control n i've drawn my you ready I to go? To, I have to control one as well, right? Even yeah, though I'm not, have, I don't have anything. Yeah, we all have to. Okay. So we're just waiting on Shane. There we go. Shane, in has case to... you're wondering, you guys are off course as well right now. What's up? I'm. I came back to my name. <laughs> but how are we off course? Is that how you you start off course? Yeah, you start off course. Okay. Wait, why at the beginning of each course? round? At the Thought beginning of I each didn't... round, you it, it rotates to off course, and then you sail oh, to try and get back. Right. Up. Okay, that's fair. Is it, the, is it the beginning of each round or the beginning of the quest phase? Beginning of the quest phase. Which means that I don't know if that matters, but okay. Uh, are we gonna do simultaneous planning, or are we gonna do planning one at a time? I have planning one at a time for the stream. Okay. All right then. Well, in that case, I reduced the cost of the first Rohan ally I play each round to, by one to a minimum of zero, and the first ally I play each round by one. So I'm just going to put out a two-cost Rohan ally for free. Easy. I forgot to draw an additional card. Okay. Free horse. Uh, I will then play the Westfold Horse Breeder to look at the top ten cards of my deck. There are no horses in there, but you know. The whiff or a whiff, that's such a... That was so <laughs> unexpected. Um, and now, how does everybody feel about the cards in their hand? Are they currently okay with what they've got, or do you want more? More cards, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I won't be upset to have more cards, but... Okay, I'm just saying I have Campfire Tales. Although, it's an action and an, it's an event. There we are. It's playable at event speed, so I think I'll hold on to it and see what see what comes up. And you're done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to first play the uh, Steward of Gondor. Uh, page down. Um, okay. <laughs> And I will exhaust the Steward of Gondor to put two there, put Nenya into play. I don't have any Sylvan events in my It's a funny side here. Ha ha ha. Um, and then I think that I have to play the Neath Eyed. And Grant, are we going to target going to target Bard with the Neath Guide? Well, me as well. No, what we decided? Yeah, I think um, it was it's either Bard or Theoden. I think are the two best choices with what we've got at the minute. 
Um, I think Bard, because Theoden was planning on questing anyways. So right, Bard this is... Guy's got, this guy's got ranged. Yeah, Bard is willpower we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Well... Abbots came home. Um, okay. Here we go. Okay. Done. Yep. Yeah. First off, I am going to play uh, Raiment of War. Turn one flip. Here we go, Grant. This is the day. <laughs> Quite the possibly. Day. Yes. Um, or not quite. I don't quite have enough for a turn one flip. But I am close. And then I'll pay one for um, a Rivendell bow. Putting them up to five attack. Um, I'll spend one for an open the armory. Grab that. Wait, can you grab the warhorse with an open oh. the armory? No, I can't. That was my bad. I think so. That was my bad there. So. <laughs> if you can grab horses with the armory, I'm not very I, I play that a lot more often. It's open the stables. <laughs> yeah, open the stables. Grab that. And you know what? It is going to be a turn one. F no, I'm not going to turn one flip. Oh. It's not. Or you could. I could, but I'm not going to. Oh, yeah, because you want to flip that stupid thing anyways. Don't want to flip it just yet. I want to get the most out of me reductions first. So. Okay. That's fair. That's me done. Shane, adder cop, adder cop. That's right. Here we go. Here we Hi. go. <laughs> I love that you're going to start off with here we go. Here we go. Here's a uh, resourceful. Here's a day rounds runes because I love drawing cards. Oh. Houses of the healing for now. Uh, um, give a good meal to Pip. <laughs> a good meal to Pip. Yeah. He needs a good pal, meal. My old pal Pip. Here's a Shire Folk. <laughs> Here's a Dayron's Rune. Ooh. Um. Um, Pompadillo! <laughs> you madman, don't do it. <laughs> he is about to do it. Uh, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of this leave no trace. Uh, I'm gonna fire off a good meal for Tom Bombadillo. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have turn one Tom Bombadillo. Um, hello <laughs> in uh, Izzy. I'm also typing in the live stream. Just so you guys. Sure, I can I can get the card for us right here. You with a sideboard of 31 cards? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. I like cards. <laughs> That's good. Um, here you go. I made this for you, Bob. <laughs> you madman. <laughs> Get shuffled right into the encounter deck, just so you know, Bob. Oh, crud. It, it has the... doesn't have the encounter back on it. Oh, there's a drinking song. And Look, another resourceful. Another. It resourceful. doesn't have the uh, encounter back on it, Tom Bombadil. Oh, that's not good. Okay, hang on. It's okay, right? Here's well, if, you, if he comes out as a shadow, you're going to know which one is not a dangerous <laughs> shadow. <laughs> that's fair. Okay. By me. Okay, so there's my other one. I think I have to hold some cards for this turn, but next turn I'll be Why able to Why don't you better. shuffle in a hill? Couldn't you play Out of the Wild for free right now? You could uh, generate no, in a hill trial to substitute time. for Tom Bombadillo. Oh, oh was that? Oh, that's because you okay, played. Yeah, uh, we can do that. You played a card after the leaf brooch came out, didn't you? Okay, yeah, I drink song, there wasn't a way to sequence it. Um, that's like the biggest issue with it in the in this deck. But yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I have an encounter back. Uh, Grant has a great solution. Uh, the hill troll. 
I'll put the hill troll in and then okay. Yeah, but I'm keeping the I'm keeping the Tom Bombadil card out. And so when the hill troll comes out that's And I'm gonna put him right on top like that. Tom Bombadil. It's a hill troll. <laughs> it's a hill troll. <laughs> hill trolls love boats. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? I think so. Yeah, I guess so. So you got to sail first. All right, I have two plus. If Dream Chaser can commit, um, I'd like to keep Narvenia up for ship defenses. Frothy Pint, I can definitely add it to you. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, Frothy Pint. <laughs> If Frothy Pine can add, um, I'd like to keep the stable up for defenses. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so I've got four. What do you guys think? Is, that, is four enough? Quite they possibly. They didn't take any, like, cards up. Ready? Four. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll go with four. Four is where we're going. Okay. So it says at the beginning of the first phase, we got discard it. cards from the top of the encounter deck until a ship enemy is discarded. Um, so first sailing happens first. I think sailing is also at the beginning of the quest phase, so these are two passive effects, and we can choose the order. Does that okay. sound right? I can guess which one you're going to pick. <laughs> pick sailing. <laughs> so I know that's a nice Corsair warship that's gone by. Um, I mean, I'd say since we already committed to the sailing. Yeah, I mean, our intention was sailing, and then. Um, I yeah, that's fine. So right, I'm going to pull out the ship successfully, and now we'll pull out the ship. Can one of you control the sailing dial, please? Uh, twisting it. Oh, um, so... I got it. On Thank course. You. There we are. All right. Discarding until we get a ship. It's a sea ship. A ship. Sea ship. Yay! Archery 2. Um, we have Archery 4. Okay, you know, of the possible ships that could have come out, that was the... Not the worst. Not the worst. Okay, so questing. All right, I have two, three, four, five. I have seven. I have eight after discarding a card. Well, I have seven, and I can discard to Eowyn. Here's a six for me. Um, I can may not have to quest for that much. I can quest for three. Yeah, I, if, oh, go ahead. Then I'm just saying, like. Because to be, we have to like. There's no point in over questing. We have to wait for somebody to get here. That's true. Um, right. I, I'm just thinking. So just a... so you know, we're, it's not the two B here. It's the two B in the uh, battle in the bay. Says um, at the end, all teams at this stage must resolve the two B plus. So the only time we can move on is if everybody's here all at the same. Sure. Um, I'm just worried that there's eleven threat and we've got four cards coming. All right. Okay. Well, I have I have five, and then I can commit with Galadriel. Okay. For a total of nine, if we need it. So five. How much did you say? Hidden King. Uh, I have. So there's eleven in there right now, and I have seven at the moment. Seven, and I did five. That's twelve. Okay. Um. Bard, okay. are you questing at all, Grant? Except yeah, I'm sending... Just with Bard, Yeah, right? it's just with Bard, so that's two from me. Okay, and then... Looks six. like you guys are sending 20. Yeah, that's... Okay. Bane? Yeah. Said uh, six? Yeah, I'm sending six. Okay. So, 20, yeah. 11, we can discard to Eowyn, we can adjust with Galadriel. Okay, I think that's a good place. Are you ready? ready? These no, are let's ready. go. Yeah. Bard number one. Hey. Hey. Resolving the guarded. All right, let's see. Okay. Card number two. I hit you too. Card number three. Oh. Hey. Oh boy. Wow. And card number four. Okay. That wasn't the worst turn that could have happened. Uh, one. You are 20 three. on 20. Perfect. All right. Uh, we don't have anything out there that depends on questing successfully, right? Uh, I don't think so. Nothing over here. 
Okay, then I'm not inclined to adjust. Not inclined to do anything either. Solid. Good job, guys. Okay, travel. Yeah. I'll, All right. I'll suggest a stall at C. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, I can get rid of the star at C with the Rudmark's finest. Oh. That's true. So, Koba saving then? Yeah, the one that's guarding? Yeah. Yes. All right. Sure. All Probably right. Saving it is. I mean, either that or, I mean, the islet could take out one of the ships for a turn or two. I don't know if that's helpful or not. Mm. Let's... One thing is, is the, is the seed ship. And so it says at the end of the quest phase, if it's not guarding an objective, put it back in there. So we're going to need a nun return from Mr. Adderkopf over there, but... It. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. right. Yeah. Engagement time. All right. This is coming down. Uh, yep. Yeah, the skirmish is coming down. Actually, so now's the time to take all the ships that have boarding that we don't want to. Uh, um, that we don't want to board. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So the. Skirmisher, that would be zero. This has, none. this has none. None of these have none. All of these have none. Okay. We don't want to bring down the Raider flagship just because we can't kill it. Right, we need nine to kill the scouting ship, and we need ten to kill the skirmisher. And twelve to kill the siege ship. That looks to me like... Legolas and Bard together can kill either of them. Yep. You've got minus four defense when yeah. taking on pretty much anything. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, the problem is we don't have allies with at least three willpower to discard to the skirmisher yet, so... No. So, it means that we could just um, tank the skirt, engage it, and just tank it for a round of Sure, I'll take the skirmisher then. Okay. I, I assume, because I have ways of getting allies back from the discard pile, so I assume that it's probably for the best that we try to to pour all the ships into mine so that we can get a bunch of attack to kill the flagship. Um, just but if somebody else wants to, to you know play the fleet game, I'm okay with that as well. Um, just remember, you can, you can only have up to three ships now. That's right. So... Okay. Um, the thing that we have to be careful of is the archery. We need to. Can you take this seed ship? Um, if I can't, somebody can, and I can defend it. Because oh, I've got. I was saying defense. Oh, you have five defense on the on the on the, uh, on the what? On the stable. <laughs> In the stable. stable, right? Stable. Alright, controversial idea. Why don't the hobbits take the siege ship? Go on. Uh, draw a card off Pippin, I sentinel defend, ranged attack just murders it. Yep, there we are. We'll do it. Yeah, so it's this, this siege ship, the, this one, right? Yeah, I'll take it. Alright. Now, what about this one? Are we going to bring down that scouting ship and try to... Because we have the boarding that can... You know, I could defend it. I can't do anything to hurt it, but... Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, no, we only have two ships that can defend right now. We can only defend twice. Uh, we have three ships that can defend. Oh, I guess Grant can defend. He'll take damage doing it, but his his ship could defend. Yeah. I forgot about that. Um, if that's the case, we may not want to get overly ambitious here um, and just handle these things and get our objectives. Right. Um, okay, fair. Just, I'm just nervous because it's 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 14 in the staging area. That's oh. two more than we started last time. 
I have uh, I have Gildor's counsels in hand. Okay, sounds delicious. If Excellent. I had readying, I could have we could have taken that scouting ship and done some damage to it because I have a fiend in hand. Oh, sounds like a next next turn thing, right? I mean, we'll yeah, that sounds like a next turn thing. Well, we're getting another ship next turn. That's the other thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and we can kill one. We can kill one ship reliably, yes? Yes. We can kill one ship, and my suggestion is we kill this one. Yeah, then we can be a little bit more aggressive with the uh, the ships, too, because we can he start healing them. Yeah. Um, right. Also, I am right. running Great Hunt. I just got to find it. Okay. Only okay. you had Daron's runes in your. Oh, oh you know what? No, no more, no more engagements. Yeah, no more engagements. I think. Yeah, I think we'll stop it right there. Alrighty, four archery, gentlemen. I'll take three of it. Four if archery, you please. Three. Can take. I can take one. Uh, right there. Why are we putting archery on our defenders, everybody? Oh, because he'll be healing them all off soon. Oh, do you have wardens in your hand? Never mind then. I, I withdraw my objection. <laughs> Not in my hand, but in my deck. Okay. And I'm about to flip me okay. contract anyway. So... All right. Yeah, your contract is going to flip, and you'll be pretty good. I don't know. Right. All right. So, uh, somebody want to defend for me? Um, I can't you defend what? using your yeah. ship? Um, because... because my ship has five defense and. He's going to defend, defend for the you then. Alrighty. All right. Oh no! Whatever shall we do? Okay, I'll take a damage on my ship. Hey. Okay. And I will defend this huge ship. Looks oh, like. Bummer. Looks like the wandering Took stream finished around here. Yeah, everyone's waiting on us. Oh, okay. Okay, it's fine. and now for... Yeah, not a problem. You guys are on the stage right now. Alright, so we murder the siege ship, yep. take control of the box of Dolamroth, and we'll heal up the damage on our ship. Yep, so and one of you can take control of it. And we also get um, to progress on the Koba saving from Legolas. Sure. Right, I'll take control of the, the docks, I guess. Yeah, you can exhaust it now before, so that it won't, you know. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I'll heal yeah. my damage off of my ship here. Absolutely. All right. Okay. And we Sounds still good. have the Seaward Tower has been captured. For the oh. end of the turn, I'm going to use Gladrail to lower my threat. Draw a card. All right, Dave, you want to come with me to uh, command, or who is coming to the command post with me? Uh, um, I, I can. Whoever's running the stream, so the That's stream can hear things, me. is probably. That's probably me then. <laughs> I like spit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. We are done with our turn. All right. Alrighty, so we currently have a seaward tower that is guarded. And we have a tower of the gull which is guarded. We don't have anything. The one seaward tower and one tower of the gull? What terrible thing happens? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we gotta use the smaller font next time, my goodness. First player. We were, we were battling the whole time just to make sure we didn't put too much text in these cards and it was a it was a tough task because you have to add good stuff in here but then it wind up winds up being wordy and okay, so, so there's, only, there's only one seaward tower and one tower of the goal and that's it uh, yeah we also have a tower of heron that's guarded in the active location oh that's right that's still guarded okay well, so one of each okay doesn't this only apply on stage two uh, there is a team that's already on stage two it hits everyone at stage two. Oh, that's right. It hits every. That's right. That's yep. the one wow. team only. <laughs> yep. 
teams at stage one can't even free their objectives yet. So let's see. Okay, so cool. We got our thing. I guess we can just go back, right? Yeah, there's nothing else to do with any of those just for now. Uh, Perfect. Unless Anyone you guys want to talk about uh, <laughs> camp, different stages. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, it's like I play tested this or something. If you need to tell people to hurry up or slow it down, you can tell them that here. <laughs> now nah, I'm not going to be that mean. With our practice quest, I'd always be going, help, help. <laughs> They're doing fine. They're fine. Take your time, guys. <laughs> it's not like awesome. any of them got work tomorrow. All right, good luck. <laughs> All right, see you guys soon. Good, right. good luck. Okay, okay. See Excuse me. Alrighty. So here is what's happening. Oh jeez. Oh, uh, okay. So this is end this is uh first player token has switched. Alright, so we're we're hitting the control end button. Yeah. Oh, control are you ready? Is there anything that happens at the end of the round? Yes. We have to go through at the end of the round we have to go through the the checklist, right? The checklist. Yes, but refresh occurs then end of the round. So should we control N or control R? Control R. Control R. Yep. All right, you ready? No, but let's hear it. Uh, so one of each of the towers between the three teams was guarded. So player one, you need to do two damage among ships you control. Okay. You need to exhaust two characters. Exhaust two characters? Wait, two characters? Sorry, exhaust one. Exhaust one, I'm sorry. Okay. 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 And oh, then, this is not good. Okay. and then discard one card from your hand. Random or any card? At random, yes. Uh, oh, random? at random, yes. At random. Random frickin' discard. <laughs> Rumel, it's fine. Okay, it's that's not, not fine. that bad. It's fine. Fine, but it's not fine. Okay. You know, as, as far as I can throw, that was, that was not bad. Oh, this um, is my team. All right, you guys can control on. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Ooh, just, there is just, something. Just ended up ending twice. Same here. I'm fixing it right now. And yeah, I just fixed oh, it. Oh, that's myself. also weird. Yeah, Samuel's got a lot of resources over there. My goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna. I got excited about it. So, and for a change, I didn't glitch out. Is that. <laughs> that's how it should be. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay. So I have to do the sailing test, but. Okay. Well. What do we got? Oh, okay. So planning first, right? Yep. Yes. Um, planning. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, and then I'll sailing. Bring this guy out, and then that brings Rumel back to my hand. Okay. Uh, then, um, I guess I will put this onto. I don't know. I'm gonna need a defender, so I'm gonna put this onto my, my defender. I guess. Actually, you know what? Get that. No, wait. I have a lot of two cost allies that I want to bring out next okay. round. Uh, okay. I am done for now. Okay, for me. That contract, buddy. I do, but I also don't. I'm going to drop out a Rohan Warhorse on Legolas for free, thanks to the contract. Okay. Now, do I play this Raymond of War so I can flip me contract? Absolutely. I think I'm going to have to because the damage is going to start stacking up with those seed chips. So, I'm going to spend one, play out this Raymond of War, and that's barred filled for the time being. And I okay. flip my contract at the end of the round. Excellent. A turn two flip. 
better than some of the games where I haven't been able to flip it, I suppose. I was going to say, Grant, I don't ever remember you being able to flip your contract ever. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, <laughs> let's start here uh, with a free out of the wild. Out of the wild? Please. Alrighty. Look at the top five cards. Oh, wait, you can't see what I'm doing. Dur. Um, <laughs> sorry. There you go. Tom. It's a pretty bad pull. Okay, both the, both the well, Battle Hardened is an awful treachery. Yeah, and it also doesn't have a wheel on it, so I'm thinking we remove that one. Ooh, yes. Cool. So we'll Whereas, take Raiders Assault is um completely uh like it's almost a non card as far as Yeah, it's basically a surge. Card. Yeah. So we'll take this battle hardened and I'll do All this. Right. There we go. Thank you. And it just, I just reshuffle, right? Uh, yeah, they all shuffle yeah. back in, and we get... Um... Kina's Lances is worth three now, right? Yes. Yeah. <sighs> Here's two for Mithrin Deer's Advice. I'll draw three. Oh, good meal. Great. <laughs> <laughs> right, and just... A quick okay, question okay. before we do sailing do we want to get rid of the starlit sea so we can gain the sea what tower or do we want to wait until next round when i'm sailing oh we'll um, mm, that's a good question actually because well, if, if we do it this round the sea chip's just going to claim it at the end of quest in any way well that's just at the end. but we can kill the seed ship though if we can kill the seed ship. I don't have a ton of help to rest. I'm only going to be... I guess I can do... I don't know. You just focus, focus on sail. sailing. We can, we can carry the yeah, 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 yeah. for the moment. I think. Can... I hope. You know what I want to do? It... Screwed up. I'm going to do this. Bring up out the elven king too okay so i've got a couple options here i drew my great hunt and a leave no trace <laughs> honestly love... i'm thinking leave no trace is not i don't know maybe i'm wrong on that the what's the decision um i just i well i drew both of them so i can i can either gildor's council for us now or Great Hunt for us later. Great Hunt is an amazing card. Oh, wait. I just realized I can do both. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> okay. What did you discard for the runes? Oh, uh, the other Gildor's Council. Oh, okay. Um, so here's the Gildor's Council for one using my good meal. So I'm just going to... Uh, can I uh, play my cards before we do that? Uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. <laughs> I always forget that it's that. So... <laughs> We will stop right here, actually. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, for a two cost, I will play out Eothane. Eothane. Um, you know, nice little uh, readying effect. Probably won't help us this turn, but in future turns, it will. And then... Let's you can... drop out... You quest with him, and then you can ready him after uh, the river mark's finest. Yeah, but if we want to see where tower for the sailing test, the river mark's finest has to go first. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Actually, docks of Dolamroth, I will exhaust to heal up your ship. That's I like to hear. And then I will ditch the river mark's finest to clear the starlit sea. Alrighty. Um, and then the tower I, I spent two. Who needs an unexpected courage? Uh, probably Grant. That seems perfect. <laughs> okay. Grant's anybody that can 
the best target I think would be Legolas because he can put uh, two potentially definitely agree <laughs> process okay. if only you had a copy of Guthwina in your <laughs> if only if only right All right, then. I've got two, three... So should I, I sail first? Oh, yes, you should sail first. Okay, so I'm going to sail. I'm going to uh, get the Dream Chaser to help. Frothy Pint is ready to help. Frothy Pint, I apologize. That's okay. I'm gonna, I think right. I'm going to sail for... Well, I'm going to have boarding you, to worry about. You've got two from the Dream Chaser, and you've got two from the Seaward Tower. So, that's four. Oh. Correct. I'll move the Seaward Tower over to the side here where I've been keeping these other yeah, objectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, we can always travel to the next uh, Cobus Haven, too, so boarding is less of an issue. I think that we want to I just make sure and... Uh... Oh, you currently have four, four without exhausting anybody. Okay, that's not bad. No, so five just to make sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, All right. five it is. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Looks like we, and we're not going to see the light cruiser anytime soon. Okay. Of course, nice. buddies. <laughs> there we are. We are back on course. All right. So now the Raider flagship. I'll, so, um, I'll take it. No problem. <laughs> That's and now okay. four cards. Wait, can it be now three we quest? Cards? Yes. <laughs> now it's three cards. That's questing. I will quest for three, six. I can. Ask for more if I need it. I have ten. Okay, I'll keep track on mine. We're up to sixteen at least. We have twelve right now in the staging area. Okay, thanks, Bob. I've got another six for you, Dave. There's six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Bob, you said twelve in the staging area, right? Yes. Twenty-two total. So we have twenty-two up against twelve. And I have Galadriel that... And we can discard her. to Eowyn. We can pitch to Eowyn, so we have a potential of eight more. Pretty... Against 12, I think that's enough. Yeah, I think you're right on that one. See okay, you guys ready? Corsair warships. <laughs> Three cards coming up. Okay. One. Three. One. There's a Corsair Skirmisher. Two. Yes. That's Tom Bombadil, though. Mommy Bombadil, <laughs> get your Bombadil over yes, here. We did it. We did it. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, so you get to choose a player. It's the player. Who are you choosing a player? Oh, it's me, of course. Okay. <laughs> you really? He's not ranged or anything. Oh, I guess we could. Use... Yeah, you're right. All right, who's helping? <laughs> I'm just. So, I'm just so excited. No, right. Gilder's Council the... and Palm Bombadil in the same turn. Like, <laughs> no, right? It's either got to go to Grant. Grant, or take my Tom Bombadil with my blessing. Or Grant. Oh, thank <laughs> you. That's going to be... Well, yes. <laughs> is phenomenal. Well, it, and it, he's it, committed to the yeah. quest, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's, Last uh, card 25. is coming up. There it is. Oh. Oh, there's the warship. Bring three. Oh my god. Okay, um, so... Okay, this is where we do great hunt. <laughs> sure, you got it. I... Uh, uh, we added six to the staging area, so we're 25 versus 18. We made seven progress. We get rid of Kobas Haven, and we put um, five progress on the quest in case it matters. Okay. That uh, does not right now. <laughs> By progress on the quest, Bob. <laughs> yes, sir. 
Now the question um, is, could we handle boarding three? <laughs> handle boarding three? No. Uh, you guys have a decision to make first. Before yeah. traveling, uh, you need to select the seed ship to grab one of your three objectives. I'm thinking the docks, unless we think, well, I guess it doesn't matter that much, but uh, I agree I with the, the docks. I think the docks is perfect. Okay. Because the docks are already exhausted, and if two, we can uh, we can take a couple of points. Of, I say this out loud hesitantly, but we could take a couple points of damage, right? And, right. Um, yeah. And it'll be fine. So... Um, the Great Hunt would go really nice on this guy, right? Well, I'm just thinking Legolas and yeah, Bard no, can kill... We knew that. Legolas and Bard can kill the Corsair warship. Yes. Yes, they can. I don't want oh. boarding three. The Great Hunt and... The Great Hunt just... Yeah, that's just, a lot of boarding. The, the Great Hunt is but, great. But when it's in... the, But it doesn't get removed from the game. Oh, Grant is saying that if we can take the boarding three, we can kill it and put it into the victory display. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I didn't. Leave I noticed. no trace. Missed that. No, yeah. I mean, no, no uh, it, it just has victory on it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I totally missed that too. <laughs> I mean, if are we're you not, guys uh, traveling? If we're not, are we traveling? Um, travel, right? I mean, we're traveling to Cobus Haven, almost certainly, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got to travel yeah, there. I think so. Right. Um, if you don't think we can handle the Corsair warship, then we'll just get rid of it and we'll try and we'll probably kill it the next time it comes around. Oh, well, the other thing is, as he controls with a, I if this gets destroyed, this guy's three. Um, it's three uh, willpower this round. Oh, that's a nice combo. Ooh, that's interesting. We end up with um, a ship. Oh, I can... Sure. can take it. Can't kill it, but I can take it. Sure, go ahead. By all means. I now wish that my Corsair Skirmisher had come to you. <laughs> one option right but I think we need to kill this seed ship as well this turn seed ship yeah uh, it takes 12 to kill and I've got minus 4 12 on it. to kill well it actually only takes 8 because it's got minus 4 when I'm attacking with Bard and Legolas um, um, um actually I think we don't have to kill the seed ship um it's Don't just... forget, you also have Tom Bombadil down there. Yeah. An extra three. <laughs> Killed the Raider flagship right now? Actually, Tom Bombadil also has three and could be discarded for the Corsair Skirmisher. That's right. He could be piloting he, okay, that ship. Okay, I'll take... Could be piloting I'll, that ship. I'll take the Skirmisher. Wait, 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 wait. If we discard Tom Bombadil, does he go to the encounter discard pile? No, no, never mind. He's removed from the game because... He's in a... Never mind, sorry. Right, I'll take the skirmisher because it seems more to make more sense to get rid of Tom Bombadil than it does to get rid of Orphan. Uh, definitely. Um, um, but I still think we need to kill the siege ship so that we, at the end of the round, we don't have any guarded um, towers. Oh. Uh, Dox, Dox is not a tower, so you don't you don't suffer a penalty. Uh, from it being guarded. Here's the other guard. thing to consider. Next turn, these scouting ships are coming down to Grant. No, to Dave. And if we don't take them this turn, they will be boarding. Oh, boy. I think we have the attack power to kill them all. I don't know if we have the defense to defend them all, but I think we have the attack power to kill them all. Well, as long as if we get the docks back, we can take a couple undefended. I mean, we can take a couple undefended ship attacks as it is. That's true. And if we get the docks back, it's not even going to be a huge deal to have done so. Right. So I think we can kind of push on this one. Okay. What are we going to do? I will optional uh, scouting ship. That's the spirit. 
Ale hall, you mateys. Cool. Now, Orphan is ranged right now. Just, um... Oh, good, good. Um... Anything else? <clears throat> Who's going to take the other scouting ship? Uh, do we have the firepower to get rid of both of those ships from the three? Megalus well, has three attacks. Ooh, wow, that's nice. Here's what I can do, is I can take this guy back into my hand, then can ready this guy, then I have some attack over here. I have five attack. Oh, that's really good. And do you have... much, but I can take a scouting ship and do three damage to it. Yeah, and you can, you can the, f <laughs> the f Tortilla Flotilla, for Flotilla can stop it, right? right. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I can do that. Tortilla flotilla. There it is. Okay. Or the tortilla flotilla. Oh, right. You're taking a scout? Can take a scouting ship. All right. Now, he, and now for the million dollar question, do the hobbits take a siege ship to draw a card? Oh. Are you gonna are you gonna just blow that siege ship right up? The Great Hunt? So that's the decision now, is do I blow up the Seed Ship or do I blow up the Corsair Warship? You don't want to blow up the Corsair Warship because we want to put it in the victory display. Got it. Then the Seed Ship is going to be gone. Okay, so never mind. Right. We leave there. the Seed Ship right where it is. Yep. Right. I would assume that's the choice, right? I mean, we also avoid um, boarding three if we blow up the Corsair Warship. but Yeah, well, just... I think once we're set up, that won't be that big of a deal. I mean, those could be famous okay. last words, but we'll see. Okay. Oh. That's what it is. Okay. okay. I think we're in good position, though. So All right. I say that. Knock on wood. <laughs> All, right. All right. Archery. Archery six, but it's reduced by four because of the Huron Tower. So I'll All right. Archery, archery two. I'll take that on Tom Take Bombadil. two on my ship. Why? Oh, yeah. Good. Oh. Ooh, even better call, yeah. What doesn't Tom Bombadil do? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't Tom Bombadil do? He doesn't Forget help. <laughs> no, what? What? <laughs> In the story, he doesn't Alrighty. help. He just, he's okay, just for riddle maker. Uh, the other team's <laughs> finished, by the way, guys. Oh, just as a heads up. up. Yeah. All right. That's enough. Okay, so I'll defend with the ship here. Um, actually, if I take it on defense, three, five, seven, eight. I'm short by one. So. Frustrating. Remember, Legolas has okay. three attacks. In that case, yeah. Doesn't matter. Like if I take it undefended on the on the ship, which I'd be willing to do, I still don't have the one attack. Still can't. Yes, yeah, but Legolas didn't. could do it, and that means you could contribute Orphan somewhere else with ranged. Does that make sense? Yes. So okay. as long as okay. So am I defending it? How much is he? He's thing for five eight nine ten so i should not defend it and take it undefended sure okay all right but undefended defend nothing no shadow so i'll take five damage on this guy no big deal which is fine okay. okay that's my defense cool okay i will take the skirmish out undefended all right Grant. the skirmish out right. undefended. undefended nothing <laughs> Okay. I'm going to throw caution to the wind and take the skirmish ship. No, I'm not. First, I'm going to defend uh, <laughs> the scouting ship with Narlenia. <laughs> All right. Nothing. And now yeah. the skirmisher will go undefended. Nothing. All Man, right. You guys are real lucky. It's all skill, Bob. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now attacks back. Uh, Grant, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attack for three, five against my scouting ship. And Legolas You're will gonna help. Contribute. Okay, so that gets rid of my scouting ship, putting two progress on Kobas Haven. Yes. Excellent. Okay, then, so that's one. one. Down. Let's see. I need six to kill the skirmisher. So the silver wing and. I also have three, have three that can help here. Uh, Ooh, Grant, could you kill it with Grimbiorn, 
Tom and Orphan? Yes, I can. Okay. And then I will discard Tom, sorry, and claim the Skirmisher. <laughs> nice. Ship. Then... Forget, as soon as we get all in the same same staging area, we can pass that ship off to somebody. Oh, I, I had forgotten about that. Now, we can pass okay. them. Now, oh, that's beautiful. Are you going to discard Eothane and your horse breeder to claim the skirmisher? No. Okay. Then, Silverwing... No, uh, I mean, I really don't feel like discarding five... Well, I could... Are you saying that you can kill both ships engaged with me? Um, I'm just working that out. I need seven attack to kill the scouting ship and six attack to kill the Corsair Skirmisher. I have two. So that, guy's uh, not in the so that guy's not in the victory display. Removed from the game. Oh, whoops. I only say that because I want to make sure that I keep two Keenan's lances in my hand, and I want to capitalize <laughs> yeah, on that. Definitely. <laughs> I just had a thought and a weird question. Tom Bombadil was removed from the game when we discarded him, yes? Yes. Does that mean that his passive effect at the end of the round that removes Tom Bombadillo from the victory display no longer fires? Uh, no, I think it still finds him and removes him. Okay. Um, it doesn't say, you know, if, if there's no if in there. It's just... Okay. It fires because right. it just says at the end of the round. There's no okay. condition attached to it. All right. Okay, so... Alright, I think we have more than enough to murder both of these ships, Bard so let's do it. and Silverwing are enough to kill the Corsair Skirmisher. No, actually, it'd be Legolas and Silverwing. There we go, yeah. And then Legolas and Bard can murder the scouting ship. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Is it worth ditching my Aethane and the Horse Breeder to get the Skirmisher? Yes. It out yeah. of the, takes it out of the encounter deck, right? And plus, you're not sailing for another two turns. Right. Okay. I think, I think so. All right, I'll take it. And don't forget, you also have two um, of your with wines in your hand, so you can pull them back. That's fair. All right, you guys have reclaimed the docks. Yes, we have. All right. Well, it's really love easy. It's healing it's harder. <laughs> so who's no, healing okay. with the docks? Is already exhausted. All okay. Right. All right. Uh, refresh. Refresh. O R. And Grant, let's head on over. Yep. This has been fun. <laughs> you guys are kicking butt. Kicking butt and taking names. Hey, hey. Looks yeah, like we're, you're moving. We're doing good. Uh, yeah, how, how's the car talk stream going? Uh, it's going very well, actually. <laughs> Up to now. Yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay. Touch wood. Tom <laughs> Bombadil has been clutch. <laughs> Don't you guys know you're supposed to practice social distancing? You've got a lot going on over there. That's right. <laughs> I think I think we'll be joining uh, the 2B stage this uh, turn. We'll be clearing our stage. Yeah, we might be. That's yeah, it's, it's tight. If, if we make as much progress as we did this last round, then we'll advance. <laughs> But we don't have anything guarded, and we don't have any ships in our, under our control. Okay. Any Anyone else have anything guarded, or nah? No, yeah, like, we don't have anything in our stage. Tower of the Gull and the Tower of the Heron. Gull and Heron? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alrighty, I think, uh, I think that's all set. 
So team uh, team two A right now is holding it down. Good job, boys. All right, it's been fun. Next round. Okay, hope to see you soon. Yep. All right. All right. There is a guarded tower of the gull and a guarded tower of the heron. So first player, you are doing two damage among ships you control and also discarding one card at random from your hand. Okay. Random discard. I got rid of a shadow of the past. Okay. He's okay. Oh, and don't forget, Grant. Yep. You flipped your... Uh... Yes, I did. Um, did you want to exhaust it? I oh, know it's a refresh action, so... Yeah. Even if you exhaust it now, it won't ready up. Never mind, then. <laughs> Sounds like the uh, two other teams may be joining you guys this round. Well, that's what I heard. I heard, well, at least the, uh, at least the uh, Wandering Took stream, they, they oh. said they're probably good. Oh, Grant, uh, the 300s isn't a refresh action. It's just an action. Just an action. Okay, so I'll have used it during so the refresh phase. No, it's a refresh action to flip and just an action to heal. Yeah, it, it's a refresh on flip. All right. Oh, oh, right, right. My mistake. I'm really sorry. As well, you should be. Um, well, I'll use it now anyway. All right, just I said, to heal oh, sorry. Um, All right, so uh, control N. Uh, before we control N really quick, uh, gentlemen, we might have a spicy meatball for next turn. Uh, oh, that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> you're damn right. So if Samuel takes the Corsair warship, um, he's got a Guthwine in hand to start rebuilding his board. And then if Grant can protect uh, that boarding, uh, we might be able to get him some cards back. Well, I can definitely defend one. I don't have multiple defenses on Grimbion at the minute. Had two. I, I just I, got two I rounds again. Lost. I got two draws. That's weird. Same Good here, with yeah. two draws because uh, get two cards anyways. But okay, apparently I got two draws and weird. A, um, an extra resource. So I shouldn't have had. <laughs> Octagon just acting up again. Oh, yeah. before <laughs> late. Before the end of my turn, can I do it before the end of my turn and draw? I remember you doing it distinctly. I remember you saying it specifically. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Don't okay. let Bob see. He'll get really mad. Yeah, he gets mad about them. Yeah, that's it's his temper. You know, that's what we're always talking about. Mm. Oh, look at that! Yeah. You, um, David, you forgot to remove Legolas from your deck. <laughs> right. It's okay. Just in case your Legolas dies. <laughs> <laughs> you can always discard it to Eowyn. Okay, so I'm first player, so what do I want to do? Uh, I'm going to spend one for Elf Friend on Bard. I like where this is going. I'm going to spend one more <laughs> for a Rivendell Bull on Bard. Yes. <laughs> Although I could technically okay. put it on, I could put it on Grimby and make him ranged. <laughs> <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> Maybe next time. I will put, just do your thing, and I'll put out a um, golden belt on Legolas as well. And then I will spend one, <laughs> two, three resources and play out a Valiant Guard on Grimbion. Oh, so, man. for the folks keeping counting along at home, how many hit points does Grimbion have? Nine. Nine hit points. Okay. Okay. It's a big bear. It's respectable. It's respectable. Well, it's no glow It's almost like his <laughs> daddy. <laughs> it's true. It is no glow but... You're, you're, all, you're all set, Grant? Yeah, I'm done. So, Shane? Okay. Here comes some Mithrin Deer's advice. Here comes some Mithrin Deer's advice. Jeez. Keep saying that. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Ooh, cool. Here we go. Um, Y'all mind if I out of the wilds? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, nice. That is... Ooh. I'll see um, either... I think I'm going to get rid of that boarding party. Yeah, I was going to say either bo boarding party or the battle hardened. Yeah, boarding party. Well, battle hardened we can cancel with uh, uh, doors closed now, so. True. And Keena's Lance has cost one now. That is phenomenal. I did it for you, Dave. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Um, what else am I doing here? Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to play Akina's Lances for two resources. <laughs> for or do one. I just draw cards? Maybe I just draw cards. Oh. Um, it still costs you one to play. Yeah, I'll take the resources. So I can Gildor's Council on the quest phase. Um, actually, that's perfect. I'm good. Go ahead. Okay, okay then. I guess that's my turn. Yep. I'm gonna spend two for Guthwine, Guthwinny, Guth whatever. And another two for Elf Elf. And I have two more resources, so why not just pull out an escort from Edoras? Why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, uh, your keen is free now. Why is it free? Because I played my own keen. Oh. Love you. Free as lances. Free as lances. <laughs> okay. You done? Give me I'm done. You, sir, are done. Okay. Here we go. Let it rip. Oh. <laughs> now I just have so many options. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to draw three cards. That's the first thing. One, two, three. Okay. Ooh. Three. Okay. That's... There are some things. Uh, I, it's not really what I wanted to do, but uh, okay. I guess I'll spend one to bring out Olorian. Uh, let me move my ship, my tortilla flotilla down here. Okay, and... Stupid. Okay, so I'm going to bring this out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to target Bard. What's Bard questing for? A boatload? Five. Just, who's questing for more, Bard or... Bard or Legolas? I think Bard at the moment. Yeah, um, Legolas is only okay, so for Bard. three. For three, he only has four, three restricted, two restricted attachments. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this back into my hand for a bird here. Okay, I'll bring Rumil out. Let me just make sure. There's no enemies engaged with anybody, right? Okay, so I'm gonna I'll bring up this guy. Okay, so now I get to look pull this up. This is the fun of uh Oh, I get a test of will. I'll bring a test of will into my hand. Excellent. Good. Uh, that's a good thing. I'm going to trigger. Uh, I guess I will. Keen as lances to put two more resources out uh, on to uh, Aliborn goes over into the you guys are doing so well this is not making for exciting television <laughs> of course it is i'm here <laughs> and i'll bring this guy out busting olorian boom and then i will bring 
this guy out. Uh, and I will target. There's another target. Yeah, I didn't get easy this turn. Can. Theoden. Okay, so I'll target Theoden now with this guy. Okay. I think it's the way. I mean, I'm going to start stealing your uh, play space here. Not a problem. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one. Use my my uh, will. I didn't save one. That's I. Right. That should be okay. Okay. Okay then. So for sailing, I've got the two from the Seaward Tower. Um, are you sending the Dream Chase? Um, yeah, the um, the frothy. Fr the frothy pint. Yeah, are you sending the frothy pint? And I will send the Corsair. You know I'll send the Corsair skirmisher for um, three as well. So five. Yep. Five. Wow, wow, we were. All right. Here we go. One. Wow, we Two, three. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. One more. Oh. 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 <laughs> we are oh, arrogant. <laughs> Your arrogance blinds you. I'm going to make my turn a little bit harder, but that's okay. Oh, that's okay. It is what it is, right? Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, what, what's what's worst going to happen? Is it going to kill me? Come on. All right, so now it's time for the Raider flagship. Okay. Okay. One and more. There's our sailing. And... All right, uh, let's see. Sure. Okay. Ooh. Alrighty. You guys are questing. But before we quest, here's this. Never leave home now without is it. Not the now is not the time to play that. Really? <laughs> questing, 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 not exhausting. Just... <laughs> I like... Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> okay, you're right, you're right. Eh, it's better to... Less cards is better, right? Right. Okay. It, it for one, play it for three. Alright, I'll commit seven. Sending six. Then commit two. Third was oh, giving zero to himself. Seven and six is thirteen. How much are you committing, Grant? Five. Or five is eighteen. I'll commit two or six. Uh Much is in the staging area right now. Three, nine, four. Um, so we're twenty-four versus nine. We have Eowyn. We have Galadriel. I have an army of elves. <laughs> Team, okay. I'm pretty Team sure okay. it's not possible for you guys to fail the quest right now. That's the spirit. You <laughs> <laughs> see that? <laughs> Challenge, challenge. Well, actually, no, it is. It, it actually is. Well, no, you have Gladriel, so it's not. Never mind. <laughs> is Gildor's Council being played or no? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Three cards coming right up. Ooh. Okay. Sure. Got some boats. Boats. Uh, but the good news is we can go to Cobus Haven. No, we can go to Kobas Haven. Uh, I love that. Benito's Hot Koba Cabana. Yeah. All right. Kobas, Kobas <laughs> Haven, Kobas, Kobas Haven. This is what I signed up for, for sure. Yeah. I'm glad I've got me whiskey. All right, well, you guys quested successfully. We sure did. Grant, how do you feel about boats? More significantly, how does Legolas feel about boats? <laughs> he feels I'm like... Is, is he aware the boats still only count as one? 
<laughs> not the way he fires uh, Are you gentlemen <laughs> traveling? How much did we, uh... About nine... I don't know, you guys four, beat it by like eight, eight or something like that. And Nineteen. By five. Yeah, we'll, we'll take eight. <laughs> we'll take the cool boss um, here. Actually, have another two progress because of Legolas last turn. Uh, but let's go to Kobas Haven. <laughs> Kobas Haven. Ooh. Oh, and, and, tall, and, and young and lovely, the girl from Kobas Haven is called. All right, I will engage the Corsair warship. Eight. Should we look? At, should we look at really trying to destroy this flagship? Uh, I don't think we have enough ships to kill it yet. We're getting... It can only be attacked by ships. Yeah. Yes. It can only be attacked by ships. Yeah, I don't think this is the turn for the flagship. Currently, but... we'll, okay. currently we'll have to... It'll take three turns to kill it. If Grant passes me the skirmisher this next turn, then we can kill it in two, two turns. Okay. Assuming... Take... Overwing, you know what I mean. Yeah. Take anything you want to give me. Right. Well, right. take so a I scouting really... ship. You can take a scouting ship, or whatever. Because I have, I have an army of elves ready to kill this thing. Uh, if you want to take a light cruiser, actually, um, you'll end up with a boarding, but you have Thranduil to defend, and he's not. You have so. Right. You guys haven't even seen Corsairs yet. This is absurd. Well, <laughs> you can look on the Kobas uh, What the hell is a Corsair? Oh. Yeah. Why is there a special deck just for these things called Corsairs? Do 12. That's my question. Oh, two, three, five, seven, nine. Well, we can do between, nine. Well, between Legolas and. Board, I can kill um, Warship this turn. I still then have two extra attacks with Legolas, who is attacking for five and mitigating two defense. That is not including um, the bear or Grimby. Um, yeah, and that's not including the bear <laughs> attacking. Okay, the bear, the silver wing, the silver bear. Yep, the silver bear. Um, and actually, Bard and Theoden together could kill the warship, which would leave me uh, a couple more turns to murder enemies with. <laughs> yep. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, I'm taking the warship and boarding two. You got warship it. And boarding two. Okay. Okay. Right. So my one from Thadrid goes to the raid leader. Well, okay, yeah, yeah that works. Okay, so am I gonna take? Am I gonna take one of the light cruisers? Board one and kill the whatever the raider, the corsair. That's what you want. Oh, I don't know if that's if I had my choice, I would take the, the scouting ship, but I. Because I think I could kill that thing, but you'll be able to kill the light cruiser with my any... help. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I just want to make sure that we can kill it. So, okay, so give me the light cruiser. Okay. All right, one more boarding. Oh. Um. Hey Grant, if I take that scouting ship, can you protect me from it? Uh, I can. Oh really? Yeah, I don't have a ship enemy that's going to attack me. Oh, you don't. Okay, great. Yeah. Grant is painting a uh, warship. Okay, then follow up question, Grant, can you kill it? Uh, let's see. I am killing the warship. I am killing the light cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Grant, uh, that paint may well be better served on one of my other enemies. I'm just saying. Okay, which enemy do you want it on? Doesn't matter, they both have five attack. Oh, wow, yeah, they do. <laughs> okay, well, take your pick. 
Um, but the answer, I think, to your question is that Grant can almost certainly kill a scouting ship. Almost really? certainly. Grant, do you sign off on this? Well, why not? Great. I'll take it and I'll draw a card. I should totally have played Campfire Tales before uh, I engaged the warship, because, you know, Corsairs steal your resources, and I knew that, but... Okay, so which one am I fainting for you? I don't know. <laughs> one of the ones with five attack. Obviously, the both the have five attack. It's, it's, it's the captain. Okay. Okay, the captain gets fainted. There we go. Mission. All right, shadow time. Unless anyone wants this, uh, like, cruiser up here. Uh, no, 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 no. I think I've got enough to deal right, with with what's on the board. <laughs> oh. Grant's the only one that actually... That's nobody it. engaged with him. That's our boy Ready. Grant doing work. It's our, that's ship. how we roll. All right. The stable will defend the scouting ship. Okay. You get taking on water. I get taking on water. Uh, my hobbits can patch that up next turn for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's the uh, least I could do. Is it? You Three characters you control. Okay. Oh, no. Well. Oh, uh, wait, does that go to... Oh, no, it'd go to Dream Chase, or er, Frothy Pine, right? No, uh, it's Defending Character. Oh, okay, it? yeah. All right. We're gonna we're gonna do something risky here. The skirmisher will defend against the warship. Ooh. Oh, brutal. Okay, okay. I'll take There's it. a lot of water. So that's uh, just four damage and taking on water. That's a bummer. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. We can heal, right? We're good. <laughs> yep. It's just a little water. It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will this attack is fainted. Okay. Nice. Good faint. Raid leader. Um. Grimby on defense. Thank you. Also, this guy's <laughs> discarded. Uh, I discarded. I didn't in, quest with him. In quest with him. Oh, oh, okay. Whoops. Yep. Oh, nice, nice I drive. Oh. I wanted bodies on the board to exhaust. Oh, this guy gets plus two. So you guys are off course. Damage. Yeah, I got you. We got a warden coming. Trying to do what? All right. Right, you got a light cruiser and an umbar captain. Thanks, thanks for that. Um, I will defend the umbar captain. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay, so Spindle takes two damage. Then I will defend a light cruiser with. Uh, Tortilla Flotilla. Alright, Docks of Doramroth will heal up the Tortilla Flotilla. Are you sure you don't want to heal up your Skirmisher? Um... We can do it after just, refresh. Yeah. yeah, just heal up your Skirmisher. Okay, fine, I'll heal up my Skirmisher. You'll take two okay. damage then. I'm gonna take two damage on my... on the Tia Flotilla here. Okay. Really time to strike back. And yeah, this one first here. Okay, so uh, let's see how much do I need to kill that? Nine. So Bard on his own can kill the scouting ship. Jeez. Okay, that's not horrible. It's the it's power absurd. of the Men of Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That ship is nothing. It's a man of Esgaroth. Alright, Theoden with Griswine will attack for five against the warship. Uh, no, he will not. He will not, actually, because there's a number captain. Uh, Theoden with Griswine is five, six, seven with Elf Helm. Seven and is enough to kill uh, the 
do you want to hire um, um, David? Do you want to hire Orphan in to help kill that um, Umbar captain? Sure, I'll take Orphan instead. If I if I can do Orphan and help build this this guy okay. for you, we killed the captain. Good. Okay, then uh, I will I will bring back a Rohan ally to my hand. The plan is working. Good job, Sam. <laughs> there we are. Okay, now then let's see how am I going to do this. I don't actually have enough. I need to eat. Two, four. It, by using Orifin, can't kill this guy now. Bam. Same. Can't, can't like, let's jump into that attack. Probably. So I can attack for two. Sorry. One. Actually, um, let's 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 undo for a moment. Let's hit the undo button real quick. Okay. Grant, we need the warship dead this turn, right? Yes. I fell okay. asleep. Um, instead of Orphan attacking, could Legolas have killed that captain on his own? Uh, the captain needs. I've. Minus one, six to kill. No, because I'm only attacking for five with Legolas. Okay, I'll attack with Elf Helm and now Legolas. Well, yeah, I'll attack with Elf Helm and now Legolas can yeah. kill the captain. Okay. That's two progress on the Kobas, Kobas Haven. Okay. Bum, 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 now, Theoden's five plus Legolas can Silverwing chip in, and will that be enough to kill the warship? Uh, it should be enough. So Umbar okay. Captain's dead, right? Yeah. Umbar Captain it. is dead. Okay. And so is the warship. Well done. Did it. Okay. All right, there we are. Uh, so I will. No, it's not. Attack it's two, for two. It's a two attacks short from killing the warship. Wait. Legolas has five. The Dream so Chaser. Silverwing has four. Yep. That's nine. Plus Theoden's five. Oh, right, okay, Theoden was attacking with it. Right, okay, yeah. I miscounted Theoden. Okay. Okay, and Legolas readies hey, from... Can I go here? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill this guy all by my... I'm gonna kill this guy all by myself here. I'm gonna do two... And... Four... And X. Ooh. Kills that guy. Okay, and there's an extra Alrighty. two points on Corvass Haven from me killing the warship. Or helping to kill the warship. Okay. And Legolas is going to attack for five minus two, so that's two damage on the light cruiser. Hold on a second. I'm going to use the Elven King back the Nath guide in my hand. Nice. Ready and ready Thrandal or ready uh Caliborn. I'll help attack for two more. Okay, the minstrel, and then the minstrel seven. Uh sorry, the minstrel is three more. We really one short? No. That's two short. Three. Two short. <laughs> two short? Yep. We're two short of killing the light cruiser, yeah. Stupid. But you know what? That's okay. I don't have any other ranged anywhere. What are those hobbits good for over there. Somebody toss a hobbit. <laughs> hey, wait a second. <laughs> no, you're doing work over there, Shane. <laughs> okay, we're ready. I'm gonna. Yeah, refresh. And uh, no, not yet. Over. Before the end of the before the end of the round, I'm going to. Oh yes, uh, Galadriel. I'm gonna use Galadriel. And draw a card. Okay, so now we refresh. Okay. okay. Looks like everybody already refreshed. And at the end of the round, I'm going to pass the control of the skirmish out over to Samuel. Okay. So and it exhausts. It has exhausted. to exhaust. Uh, it should have only had two damage, right? Yeah. 
let's let's head into the chat. Yep. Okay. And the the skirm. Already. Salted pork. It's particularly good, my friend. It is. It's how's everyone looking? Chicken and me good. All right. So what do we got to decide here? Looks like you got some friends. Uh, yeah, first off, are there any uh, guarded tower objectives? As usual, Tower of the Gaul, Tower of the Heron. Okay. None from us. None from us. Okay. You can resolve those. Uh, do you guys want to uh, send any ships around? Uh, the only ship we got, I have. Well, Chad, you I can't have... do it because you're not at the same stage. The other two oh. teams can do it. Even if I could, though, <laughs> I have to do the sailing test this turn, and I think I'm going to need it. Uh, I mean, I don't think we need any help. Uh, we have a Corsair Skirmisher, but I think they also have some. <laughs> we have two. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so, yeah. So first... I'm guessing you don't need help either. <laughs> Uh, the first player at one of those two stage 2B teams could exhaust a ship. The first player can exhaust a ship objective oh, yeah, oh, yeah, control also that, to, that, to engage an enemy yeah. from another team's staging area. Oh, right, yeah. Not one that You can't be one that's guarding an objective, though. Okay, we've got a scouting ship, and that's it. In the staging area? In our staging area. Okay. We have a light cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good. We're good. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who's got the most ship enemies in play? Uh, I don't think it's us. We have. Oh, wait, we have two. We have one. Who has two? We have two. We do. We have two light cruisers you have and three. the flagship. Okay. So you have the most, so the flagship stays with you then. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, then that's, uh, that's all we need to do at this point. Make sure you resolve those tower guarded effects. Okay. So everyone at stage two does that? Uh, yes, both teams okay. at stage two resolve those effects. All right. All right, cool. Good luck, everybody. Right. Good luck, Good everyone. Okay. Good luck. Okay. I would, right. in retrospect, before this, I would do it. Yeah, but no, I, I get it. Welcome back, everybody. Hey. Alrighty. We have Player one thing. You are doing two damage to a ship you control and discarding one card at random from your hand. No problem. I will take one of those damage with Vigilant Guard for you. What a legend. Um if anybody has any sort of um just uh a Sylvan tracker on the board, so if you Need anybody? If you are oh, a Sylvan, um, you can heal up one. If you damage. have a Sylvan, you you get to heal <laughs> damage. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking. Bard is. Bard's yeah. a Sylvan now. He is a Sylvan. Yep. And if I draw my okay, other okay. friend, Bjorn will be a Sylvan. <laughs> oh, uh, you guys can uh, control N for new round. All right then. Round. Here we go. Ooh, a snowborn scout. I like I that. Borns. I've got a deep knowledge if everyone's okay with that. Uh, I'm, I'm okay, okay with. It. I'm okay with it. Go for it. Okay, well, let's, let's get started. Here's two cards for everybody. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, god! Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Whoops, uh, one thing different, I'm going to play this for free, then play the Deep Knowledge. This was in my hand. My That's fair. Food. What? Do you happen to like Akina's Lances and uh, Hands Upon the Bow, Grant? Is that what you're liking? Um, it's just the Hands Upon the Bow. I'm just looking at that light cruiser and debating if I just kill it. <laughs> one in the beat. Triggered out of the wild, right? Yes, please. All right. Healing. Oh. This so made. many cards in my hand. It's it worked over time. silly. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Good. Pick uh. a location. 
Yeah. Just remember, we're off course also this time. Yeah. Or maybe take that fog bank just so, just to get that really, really nasty shadow out of the way. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't have a sailing thing. Yeah, we'll get, rid of the, to... we'll get rid of the fog bank. We don't want to get locked into one. It's uh, right. Coast of Anfalos is also bad because that's if you're off course completely, or if you're off course anyway. Yeah. Well, one may be worse than the fog bank. Hopefully. It, it has a sailing icon. Yeah, I want to keep it for this turn especially. Okay. So yeah, we'll get rid of the fog bank. I'll, uh, I'll grab that. Okay, if we okay. discard these in an order where we can keep one of the um, one of the sailing icons on sailing top, things. I can shadow the path to make sure we go back on course. Or help to make sure oh, we go back on course. Oh, well, then I'll help getting help to go on course. course. Yeah, it'll help we get back on course. We know we have at least one card with the sailing icon. Yeah, they get they get shuffled back in now. Is it shuffled? Yeah. Yeah, they're shuffled back in. So All right. I'm... Song. And I've got another great hunt. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> great hunt. Uh, or a hidden way, actually. Um, let's see. Here. That actually, hidden way might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's take the hidden way this time. May I see some more cards, Bob? Yeah, sorry, I lagged out for a sec. Okay. The hidden way. You guys are, you guys are doing too one. good. For C1. Oh, it's not, it's not can... one, because I played other stuff already. Okay. Oh. oh. I did a, a completely free out of the wilds. <laughs> <laughs> That's not horrible. So, sorry, the thing is lagging. I have to go lagging. Then. Give me one more, please. <laughs> One more location. Everybody in the world is on Octagon right now. True. Oh, I think I'm rotating everything right now. Yes, you are. I don't see anything rotating. I'm rocking the game. I like that. I love the unlock game. Okay, here we go. Look at top five, right? Yep. All right, you have a Starlet Sea, and that is it. Oh, let's take it. And then one less encounter card this turn, so I'm going to leave this out. It becomes the uh, active, active location, right? Yep. We avoid the travel. No complaints. <laughs> And uh, we're good. I'll try to peace and thought at the end of this turn. All right, you all got a sail, right? Uh, we've got a plan first. Okay. Yeah, we still have. We still have. We still have three more planning phases. Oh, to go oops. Through. <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate that, Bob. I really do. I was like, um, Bob's, I'm excited. Bob's thinking we have this way too easy. I'm going to hey, you can... skip the to skip the everybody else's planning. Hey, you can't, you can't steal my idea, for free. Okay. Ooh. I will then spend one on a Snowborn Scout. Let's just toss the progress on that belt for the silent. I will then spend two on a Riddermark's Finest, and I will exhaust the Riddermark's Finest Cure and the Escort from Edoras to remove taking on water from uh, the stable. I had do you not want to do it from? Do you not want to do it from the skirmish? That seems that's got less hit points than the um, stable. Oh sure, from the skirmisher then. One of them. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Turn. Um, I, I have a board state again, everybody. He did it. He's got horses, everyone. <laughs> Get him on the ships. I don't know if we've got enough ships to... First. I don't think we've got enough room in the stable for all these horses. Okay, I'm going to do this. Lower my threat. Draw a card. Okay, another Legolas. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I am going to play this. It's back into my hand. Look at the top five. Um, oh, look at that. I guess I will put 
this into play. Yo. Nice. Um, I'll target um, target the uh, bard. Nice. Pull up my deck. Okay. And I will play this I for two. And then I will play... Who are you readying with that archer? Oh, her. Okay. The lady I will so. play this Also, um, if I can just point out something. If you say for Rumo with Thranduil's ability, you could kill off that light cruiser before it attacks. Just a, just a thought. It's true. I can. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth doing, but I thought I'd raise well, it. It definitely option. is one of those things. The thing is, is that I have so many options in my hand. To, <laughs> yeah, I just looked. <laughs> like, that's a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah, like, definitely have host of the Galathrum to play. Maybe thing. I, I think we have that cruiser like six ways from Sunday right now. Yeah, I'm not necessarily worried about the cruiser, so I think I'm still going to. Uh, I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to keep going here. Okay. Play Olorien. I'm going to play this. Reduce this. Who's the next best target for the Nate Guide? Edin probably. Edin for two or Legolas for three. Ooh. Legolas for three, then. Um, well, it depends. For are, three. You, are you planning to quest with Theoden, or are you want to help have Theoden... I was going to keep it up, because I want to use Guthwan. Well, that's what I was thinking. If you want to do that, and just use um, the Nath guide to do that, it's only one extra willpower between them. We can make that up with um, ditching to Eowyn. It doesn't matter to me whichever way you want to go, Dave. Yeah, that's that's fine. Thin is good. Questing isn't the hard part right now, I don't think. Okay. Um, I'm done. I'm going to save a test of will just in case we get something crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, we're at three, right? Cards? Yeah, three. All right, take us off course once more. Do I not uh, get a plan? Wait, course, we need, to, do need I... to do sailing, right? Do I not get a plan? <laughs> no, you're doing fine. Well, <laughs> tough. I'm going to play Keenest Lancers and draw three cards. I'm oh, in. <laughs> I, am going to, I am going to spend one and play Elf Friend on Grimbion. Oh man, look at all these elves we haven't played. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to spend one more and play Mighty Prowess on Legolas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And that is me doing this room. I think we should just take all the ships from all twelve, from all twelve players. Like, give them all to us. We'll Careful what them. you wish for, Dave. Oh no! <laughs> all right, time to time to ship out, right? <laughs> okay. We're doing. Need to get back on course. Yep, we're doing the whole thing. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, Wait. seven, eight cards. Cards. Okay. Eight cards? Yep. <laughs> All right. I like seeing cards, man. <laughs> One. There it is. Two. Look, we could have done it with just two. Three, Three. four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Just stunned. Just really just disrespecting the encounter deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Philip just rolled over in, in his <laughs> pandemic grave. All right. Three cards. Here we go. Uh, don't forget the Raider flagship. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> want the wind to be fair. Okay. Oh, cool. Seed ship. Oh, the seed ship takes, a, takes one of the... All right, first encounter card. Rhyming speed! Oh. oh. We're not off course. It's just Doom 2. Oh, we're not off course. So it's just, just Doom, Doom 2. Cool. Let's do two. two. Corsair Warship. I do, I do have a test of will, just FYI. Okay. 
that it not that it matters, but all right. Your second card is a warship. Okay. I hit you too. And your third card. Boarding party. I see. We I can cancel, cancel that. Yeah. I'm not even asking. I'm just going to do. <laughs> no pirates Ready. is the achievement we're going for. Oh, that's what I was telling uh, the the other stream. I was like, "Hey guys, uh, we haven't had any corsairs come out. <laughs> like we have literally one set of corsairs." Okay, so have we even quested? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just reveal cards and we didn't? I'm quest? sorry. I'm excited. <laughs> How That's much? my excuse. You can't use that anymore. Just in the staging area. <laughs> Three, four, eight, and oh man, team. Well, you guys would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was just requesting. On. Bob is my favorite uh, villain. <laughs> let's see. One, three, five. Requesting for five. I have to quest with her because I've already used her ability. Nine. We're going with by the honor system right now. Who you? Who but you know you are. But the thing is, is that basically, without exhausting anybody, he quested successfully, except for Galadriel, because um, Bard is questing for free, and Theoden is questing for free, and all of these, and all of these guys are questing for free. So there's five. Would you have nine. sent Born Dave? If we if we had known what was coming out, would you have sent him? Born, I would have sent probably. I can be honest. I'll, I'll exhaust Kelvin. And I wouldn't have sent either of my ships, and Theoden was questing for free, and Elkhelm and the Snowborn Scout are pointless, so... Okay. I think that that's... I think that that's the reasonable... Yeah, I'm cool with it. So how much did you guys send? We'll see if you guys clear the Starlet Sea. <laughs> but Legolas is going to clear it anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm, I do have a um, in voices in my hand, just so you know, always helps. Uh, there would have been thirteen in the staging area, and you guys sent more, more than, than enough. A more than that. So okay. Starlet Sea's been explored. And travel? Can we travel to the islet? We can, we can actually travel to the islet. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason not to travel to the islet, right? Oh, Captain Pippin, get us back on course. Um, the <laughs> seed ship, right. the seed ship takes one of our objectives. Um, Which one would you like? Let's give it the Tower of the Heron with the Sylvan Tracker. Archery's not a problem. Okay. True. I'll take the archery. That will go. Did we get any progress on the main? But there's none to be put on the oh. main. But yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys some just to make you feel good. Wait, why is we would have put four. No, you wait too much. Oh, now actually, that's right, sixteen because we would have had two from Legolas. Okay. But now it... what are we doing? Okay. All right. Uh, Delphos Islet. You can trigger the response if you want. Uh, I say we get rid of the warship for the time being. Warship. Yeah, I think the warship's not a bad one. To... Yeah, yeah let's clean the board up and then we'll get the warship back. Could, can't we get the flagship? The what? Could, we could put the flagship out of play. Oh, so we don't get the ship per turn? <laughs> oh, we could! <laughs> right, but this is... But... Legolas is going to kill two enemies this round. So is it really worth putting? It's just gonna come. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah. I mean, we don't, don't have, we to. Want? We don't to have to. Don't want? We don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to use his response. Yeah, it's gonna get blown up anyway. Not, might as well not make the decision. Okay, we'll put the flagship out of play this turn. I won't trigger Legolas's ability this turn, so that way we just kill the enemies and we just sit with. And we might as well just yeah. We will not. Um, just a note, uh, I can, like, if I start attacking the flagship this turn, we can kill it. Oh, ooh. Okay, well, let's, like, I think I, killing I, the flagship is the I thing we're doing. Turn. Yeah, it seems like a great idea. We'll be heroes to everyone. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's so, do that. So we'll and then we'll, the... Put the, we'll put the warship under the, under the island, I guess. Okay. Alright, that's your final answer? Yep. Okay. 
Okay. So now let's. All right. Engagements. All right. Um, I can take the archery. Do you take the archery I've, already? I've already taken the archery. Okay. Um, I can take. I can take thing. I can take the seed ship. Give it to me. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then that would mean the. There you go. And that would mean the life cruiser comes down to me, unless somebody else wants to take it. I'll take it so I can draw, and then you just kill it. Okay. Sure. Lovely. Lovely. Um, so that, you're taking the light cruiser? That would mean it's uh, yeah, boarding two. Yeah, I'm taking the light cruiser. It's boarding two for you. Oh wait, never mind. Not that. No. Uh, it's in front of you. <laughs> um, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to switch that up and have the hobbits take the siege ship. Or what we could do uh, because. Or what we could do, the Corsair warship isn't actually going to come down and engage. We could actually put the light cruiser under there. Well, I think we're in a position to take it out anyway, so we I'm should just be fine. Thinking the amount of oh, defenses actually, we have. Before we finish engaging, I'm going to spend one to play Campfire Tales. We all draw a card. I'll take that light cruiser, and I'll take the boarding too. We're all drawing a card now. I thought you were taking yes, the radar flagship. Yes. So that's. I take the cruiser too. So that's no, boarding. Actually, that's so... boarding four for you if you do that. Never mind. I'm not doing that. I'm still spending the money on the uh, the hidden way or uh, the campfire tales. But I'm okay. You're right. Right. So what do we see about actually putting that underneath the islet instead of the light cruiser Can... warship because the warship isn't actually coming down to engage. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. You got it. That's an additional two archery then. Um, no, because we are the Temple of Heron's guarded. Okay, yeah, I can take that. There we go. Can, so I'm sorry, that's an additional four archery. I can take some because yeah, I have a whole bunch enemies. of pin cushions. Okay, I'll take. Uh, I'll take one. You just need to take uh, two. Find two. Two. Uh, I'll take go. two. Because I'm healing up two hours right, around now, so. Oops. So where's the seed ship going, uh, and where's the, the flagship take... going? The seed can take to the, the seed. Wait, what? The seed ship, seed ship to the hobbits, right? Yep. Yeah. Because you wanted to draw a card. Yes. And flagship to you, Samuel. Yes. I can also Alrighty. cancel one of these attacks to something. Wonderful. Order right, one. one. Let's do this. You also. Um, yeah. End of the encounter phase. Boarding one. You know, those were probably the two nicest of the Corsairs that could have come out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Who's, uh, okay, defenses over here. Alright, so we got the shadow. It's upon the bow. Okay, I can feed somebody if. We think it needs fainting. Um. I can oh, also. I can also. There's no more shadows. <laughs> not be bad to faint. <laughs> it's not going to be bad to faint. Are we out of shadow about... cards? Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Broke well here for us. So, who who do you think we should faint, or do you think I should keep a hold of me faint for another round? Um, I can take the have, speed ship undefended. I don't really mind. I have faint voices as well, so... Okay, I'm thinking we'll want to cancel that light cruiser's attack. Okay. I will use the docks to heal up the... Uh, the... Uh, tortilla Flotilla. <laughs> if, uh, Dave, you're willing to... defend my flagship so I can have all my ships ready to attack. So now I see what it is all about. Huh? Yeah, okay, exactly. so I'm canceling the uh, the faint voices, the uh, light cruiser, right? Okay, I'll bring the uh, I'll bring my guide back into my hand. Okay. Now what okay. am I doing? I'll defend whatever you need me to defend. This guy right. Okay, that's the flagship, there. I think. Okay. Good. Yeah, okay. Plus okay. one. Oh, 
Oh, six. I take two damage. Thing I just. Okay. Okay, I think I'm actually going to faint this seed ship. Sure. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Alright, now time to defend my Corsairs. Okay, Grimbion defends one of them. Okay, the one is Grimbion his... up to the raid leader? Well, he's got um, six more hit points. Oh, no, points. I can jump with the raid leader. Um, well, I can jump Grim the raid leader Grimbion has um, six free hit points and four defense. So if you don't want to jump, I can defend it. Sure, okay. I'll avoid jumping if I can. Raid leader? Yep. Yep. Nothing. One damage. Alright, two more attacks coming in. I'll take the Infiltrator undefended on Theodred. And I will... Alright, this is going to be really, really weird. I think I want to take the other Umbar Raider undefended on Theoden. Okay. What do you think? Alrighty. No, well... Chump with the Scout? I could chump with the Scout. Can, can... I'm just trying to see if I can find three, um... Three characters to exhaust to get the... The taking on water off. okay to take two damage whatever it takes two damage you have 16 right yeah okay um you can always get it off next turn i'll jump with the scout then on the last one that? Yep. i'm jumping with the scout against the last enemy okay okay um before anything goes crazy i'm bringing in this um this guy with uh with thranduil's ability and I'm targeting Samuel. You have the highest threat, so reduce your threat by one. Okay. Okay, now for combat. Okay. Kill my own ship. Don't worry about my ship. Oh, done and I can done. kill my own ship. Well, Legolas could have killed your ship with mighty prowess, but never mind. <laughs> my sh How did my ship die? No, I said it. You said you killed it. Oh, okay. So, so we're doing this um, out of order. <laughs> I know. The four. He just killed my ship, and I wasn't expecting it. Okay, whatever. You it's said there. you killed it. <laughs> it's dead. Okay. Okay. So first of all, we've got to deal with this seed Need ship. So, Legolas and Bard are enough to kill the seed ship. Great. What's up with elves and destroying boats? <laughs> and then... Right. Um, Silverwing to do will attack alongside Norl and um, the other two ships. To put... Okay, my two ships will attack. Um, I, have so... three, I have three ranged also to um, help over there. Uh, All right. Your um, three range can't do any damage to the flagship, so... I can do damage to these guys. Yeah. To so, the... we have 11 attack going in against the Raider flagship. Alright, so 8 damage. Well done. Okay, uh, you say you have 3 attack with that Greenwood Archer? That's correct. Okay, then I will swing in with Theoden for 5, but between us that's 8. It is enough to kill the raid leader. It is enough to kill the raid leader. Okay. And I will bring back uh, this Westfold horse breeder to my hand. Okay, Legolas is enough attack to kill off both of these um, Umba, these Corsair. Uh, are we putting progress on the on the islet? Uh, do you want to put progress on the islet, or do you want to leave the light cruiser out of play for another round? Uh, do it once, and then don't do it the second time. Okay. Like so? Okay. Like so. Alright. And everything's done. Okay, I have um... a refresh action as well. 
all of my characters lose one damage thanks to the f um, mighty power of the Sylvan Track. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, head on over to the command stream. Yep, heading over there now. Uh, we're still on stage one. How are you oh. still on stage one? Because uh, they're lazy. One of our guys drew a scout ahead, so we're like, well, we gotta do it. So we're going through this time. All right. Go on stage one. Uh, we have a guarded seaward tower now. Oh. Okay. We have nothing guarded. We have nothing, nothing guarded. guarded for us. We have two ships. We have two ships. We have no ships. Who's got no ships? Uh, that's uh, the Wandering Two team. Okay, no got ships. it. Uh, are there any ship objectives in the staging area that uh, you guys want to get rid of? At two B. Uh, no, I think ship we'll... objectives. Uh, ship enemies. Oh, I think we're good. Uh, I see you've got a warship there. I mean, if you're fine, then that's fine. But if you want, I can take that warship. We could also send a skirmisher your way. We're doing very well. Yeah. Uh, so if that warship were to switch teams, I think it would be you guys would still keep the flagship because um, you would have even numbers of ships at that point, one to one. Um, but that flagship still needs to go back to the staging area. So what's the call? Uh, well, it's technically your call because uh, I, I didn't say that they can negate it. If you, so the first player may exhaust the ship objective they control to engage an enemy ship in another team's staging area that is not guarding an objective. This is, uh, if they leave it up in the staging area, it's fair game. So if you want it, you can take it. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to do it. I will take the warship. Hey. All right. Okay. Wow. All right. Yeah. And it gets engaged with you, so there you go. Okay, so we take it from their deck. Uh, so you, you would actually at this point do Control A and add a new one, okay. and then the one that's in the uh, staging area was just get, set it aside, and then whenever it gets killed, you can move to victory display. Yep, got it. All yeah. right, I swear we're moving on this time. Here we go. Are you sure, <laughs> oh, yeah, John? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe him, but we'll find out. Yep, neither Joe do keeps, I. Joe, <laughs> Joe keeps telling us and, to wait. Uh, you guys should wait. You guys should <laughs> wait. That's what he keeps telling us. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, do, do you guys want the skirmisher? I guess that's also yeah, our well, choice. Uh, looks like you're fighting the flagship. So yes, we are. We are. I guess that would help. We are probably one turn away from killing the flagship. Okay. Impressive. So by the time the skirmisher readies, you won't. There won't be a flagship. <laughs> well, it's a possibility. Uh, remember, there's a max of three, three ship objectives per team or per player. Yes. Great. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So we couldn't give. We could since you've already got two. We couldn't give another one Not to the, the same, same player. player to kill the right. flagship. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll we'll keep the skirmisher then. Okay. 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 Right. Good luck, See guys. Next round, maybe. See you next round. Bye. Hey, where that Welcome back. The warship has been taken. What's that? The warship was taken by Pocket Wraith team. Oh, okay. Um. So, uh, our podcast stream. They're screwing us. They're still on stage one. We're just waiting. <laughs> yep. The so, random question. So, are we about to lose the Raider flagship then? No. Oh, okay. you still have it. We're gonna kill. We're gonna kill it this time. So and nobody else has any ships other than Pocket Race, which just took our flagship. Yep. Or our work. Okay. Okay. I should have told them that we didn't. 
want him to take it. <laughs> That's okay. They do um, their thing. Also, doesn't the radar flagship return to the staging area? Yes, it will return to the staging area. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys can control it. That it? No damage. Oop. Is it truck in this thing? Shane. Oh. Busted. I was looking away. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking whiskey. No excuse. Okay. Okay, then. I'll take that. Hey, does anybody want cards? I've got a deep knowledge. And if we're about to kill that, we're going to reduce our threat by uh, 10, so... I'll take it. Yeah, why not? Unless I made that up. I was going to say, I can... My threat is pretty high, but uh, it is what it is, right? Oh, it'll put you guys all at 40? Uh, I can wait on it. It's not a big deal. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, but... All right. All right. Here it is. Here's two. Okay. Cards. Cards. Oh, there we go. I, I almost. Oh, that's so nice. Save all my resources just to do. Oh, that. You, guys are, you guys are too kind to me. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> and I'm coming in. Oh, that's not my. Uh, sorry. I'm so excited. Actually, the first player token should be over at Onitson. Yeah. Oh, is it my turn? Hey, your first player. Oh, by all means. Oh, also, stayed over there. you need to exhaust a character. Oh, I do? Yes. Oh, well. Okay, if you insist, I'll exhaust an escort from Metaris. Now, the question is do you want to um, exhaust um, three characters oh, to I get rid of taking on water? And the answer to that is absolutely, but give me a moment. I'm going to spend one resource to bring in this Rider of Rohan uh, out of cost Rider production. Rider of the Storm. A second resource to bring in a Westfall Horse Breeder. Searching the top ten cards of my deck, there is Snowmane. Um, she can't play it, but it's fine. It's oh. fine. Yes, it's fine. Should um, we have advanced the mission, or the quest? No, not yet. No, no, no. That's... Okay. And then I will go ahead and exhaust three characters to get rid of taking on water. That force fixed it. And then I'll exhaust the Docks of Dolamroth to heal, I don't know, whoever's ship has the most damage. I have seven damage on my okay, ship. Okay, let's heal up the Tortilla Frutilla. Yes. Love that. Okay. My turn. And now I could... Spend one for Campfire Tales if we all want another card. Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Campfire Tales, everybody. Draw a card. Okay. I just got a Norf. Alright, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to beg your pardon for a moment, and I'm going to play a very good tale of exhausting Elf Helm and the Rider of Rohan. Oh, yeah. Beg my pardon. You know, my planning is going to go pretty... Easy too, so, so you know, it's not a bad uh, thing there. I like the, uh, I like the rider of the mark. Okay, I'm gonna take gambling and the rider of the mark. I was gonna say that's a good choice. Gambling is uh, good. Okay. okay. Turn. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Olorien to reduce this. And I'm really in behind you here. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to search for... hundred events in this hand, and I don't I don't have any... I didn't get any in the top five. Okay. That's because they're all in your hand. <laughs> okay. I know, right? Okay, so I'm going to put this one... I'm going to put them out... I will be right back. Okay, and then I, who's that? Who is that? That was Bob. I'm going to host of the Galathrum. Okay. 
So that means I get to look for another. Well, did you want to use Galadriel's ability first? So when you put um, the Greenwood Archer back into play, you have something already. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Do that. I definitely take okay. the card. Don't ready my hobbits. They've done their job already. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And now I'm going to play host of the Galathrum. There we go. Ready her. Okay. And now I get to look at the top five. Uh, let's see. For a uh, uh, I get an island amid perils. And that's fine. Let's see. Um, has the highest threat. They all do. So I'm gonna be take my threat from the. Um, you wait. Will, you should be at 39 threat because of Galadriel. I should be at 39 threat. Um, Grant, you get to lower your threat because of the handmaiden. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for. Me or uh. Look for an ally. I don't have any allies in my discard pile. Okay, and then uh, let's see. Uh, this guy's gonna target Bard. This guy targeted Galadriel. And okay, I'm gonna play Kina's lances. Give Galadriel two resources over here, and. That's it for now. All of these guys are buffed up pretty healthily. Two, and I also have two uh, testicles in my hand. Okay. 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 I have choices to make. I have a quick strike in hand, or I have another vigilant guard I can put into play. And I have two hands upon the ball. What can you quick? You can't quick strike anything. I could potentially quick strike another ship that comes off to do some damage to it. Um, I think that that makes the most sense. What's the top card of the encounter deck? What's happening? You mean the discard pile? There's nothing. There is no discard pile. There is no discard oh. pile at the moment. Okay. It just got shuffled. Okay. So. We've got choices. I could play a Vigilant Guard to um, keep some damage off the ships, or I could um, keep me resources for a feint or something else. What do you know. think? It's up to you. Um, I like Vigilant Guard on Bard since he's an elf right now. He's gonna start heal. He can heal some of it off. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So. It seems pretty good. Yeah, start siphoning the damage off of the ships. Which is what I was doing with um, Grimbion anyway, so I'll do the same with Bard. So Bard is Great. now up to, to, let's see, two, four, eight health. <laughs> Not horrible. So I've got nine health on Grimbion and eight health on Bard. And are you going to be able to reduce the number of cards we draw this time around? Oh, uh, me? Uh, yeah, you? Yes. Sorry, <laughs> okay. I, my sound cut out for a second. Yes, I've got a, I've got a Gildor's Council and um, some other tricks. You can sure. Look, let's do this. Cool. All right. So we'll just go straight to the quest phase, yeah? I'm seeing uh, are you going to time? You planning? Um... No, I have no planning. We're good. Okay. Oh, we do sailing first, don't we? Yep. Okay, I'll do six. Is that with the um, the... the the frothy pint? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I can I can hold it to defend. For oh, you. sorry. Uh, then I've got two plus two for the seaward tower, so I have four without the frothy pint. Sorry. Oh, in that case, we'll make it six. There you go. We'll play it safe. All right. Sailing for six. Here we go. Is card. All right. Two, three, four, six. So we're back on course. Thank you, Frothy Pint. Okay. I think I you can know. single-handedly handle the quest. 
Sting for four. Here's the uh, ship from the Raider flagship. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Four, five, seven, ten. I am going to send oh. Fed just to get my resource. Teen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Grant with another five. So my elves are responsible for at least 24 right now. If I need to, I can use... I'll send... I'll send uh, Celeborn. Oh, we're at 27, Grant and I. Alright, I have one from Theodred to make us 28. And you can make him even 30. So that's 30. Against... All right. He's coming three, along too. 7. Are you using any Hidden Way or Gildor's Council? There's a Gildor's right. Council. Gildor's Council. Any way you recycle those back into your deck? Uh, I've got Scroll of Isildur's. Okay. All right, here we go. First card. Get on water. Cancel that. <laughs> um, who's what? the first? What? It doesn't have to go to the first player. It can go to anybody. Just give it to me, and I'll just give. I'll just. Sure. All right. We're putting yeah. it on Dave. Okay. The tortilla will... is taking on water. Okay, so there's one, two. Uh. Three. All right. Boom. Okay. okay. <laughs> second card. Two. Or third Let's card. See, second. Uh. And fourth card. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Having a lot of fun. <laughs> and we get that so light you guys up plow up. through Belfalos Islet. <laughs> and get a light cruiser for your trouble. Do you want to travel to the coast of Anthalos? Uh, what ship would we exhaust to go there? You can exhaust my ship. I'm okay leaving it, because I think we'll need ships to defend. Yeah, I was thinking that, because we've got three ships that are coming down to engage. It doesn't look going to need it, yeah. <laughs> I think we just leave it there. Agreed. Okay. Three threats. So. Okay. You're going to option the right. uh, Raider flagship? I'm going to optional the Raider flagship. Okay. So. That's... So boarding happens? No, it does not. Octagon stalls out. That's what happens. Oh, okay. I'll take that as well. I'm currently being boarded. <laughs> it looks like Sauron's minions it. doesn't like Sauron at the minute. <laughs> Look, I'm on your guys' side. That being said, uh, we wanted to. We initially we we have a bunch of epic quests in mind that we want to adapt, and this was our first test run, and we wanted to not make it all that hard. And this is making me think that we are going to make the next ones brutal, you know, very not pleasant for the rest of you. I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, Elven King and Polk Galleon back into my hand. Kingling, I know that's a uh, okay. thing for everybody. I'm rotating my cards. All right. So uh, I'm just going to note that we are going to be taking a lot of Corsairs this turn. Yeah, that's fine. Fine is is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, even just if I have to, clear. even if I have to chump block a bunch of them, I'm okay with that. So who who's taking what else? Just so I can move it all once I get back. T 
see the do you see the window down at the bottom? Oh yeah, Keep I'm rotating everything. Eight degrees. Oh, I know what you did. You selected the whole screen, rotate the yeah uh, uh the heading card. Um, I can take anything. I don't care what you want to give me. The light cruiser, I guess. And I think the scouting ship should go to um Okay. Shane. So he can draw Take a target. Your boarding. He's only got board in uh, one, whereas the others have got board in two. Ooh, random card for my hand. I discard the Westfall Horse Breeder. It gets one resource. <laughs> oh no, whatever am I going to do? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'll take this guy. Take, That's fine. I think I'm going to take a light cruiser. Okay. And that leaves you All a right. light cruiser. Scouting ship for Shane. Boarding one. Light cruiser for Dave. Woo! Boarding two. Um. Ooh, you have to lose an attachment. And then, That's Grant, you said you want the light cruiser? Um, well, it'll either come down to me or it'll come down to Samuel normally. So. Oh, gotcha. I'll uh, I'll get rid of Olorian. And boarding it too. Guy gets a resource. Uh, gets one resource. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cunning fire gets one. One, yep. Okay. Ooh, all right, okay. and then one more boarding for the flagship. Uh, okay. I hate you. Samuel, you're first. There goes good, Winnie. Yep. Goodbye. That's okay, he's got a backup. Uh, yes, yes I do. This is true. <laughs> I had other things I wanted to do with that backup, but I do have backup. Okay. Um, yes, please, all the shadows. And up with no shadow cards again. Because <laughs> we have a number of... We've got 11 engaged enemies with us, engaged but... with what? All right, uh, so... Who, does anybody have any attack cancellation at all? Well, I do, I just don't have... Oh. Well, no, sorry, I don't anymore, because I had a discard as a random discard. But I don't have the resources to pay for it anyway. I can get it for you. Okay. Oh, you don't have the card, though. Okay, never mind. Grant doesn't have the resources. I have attack cancellation that you could... For me, guy in my discard pile, but... Because I can give you two resources... I don't need resources. Okay. Need the card. Right. Oh, I meant for it has. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna take the flagship undefended. Take the flagship undefended. Yeah. All righty. Only five attack. Okey doke. Table takes five. Mitch. Grant, take two resources wherever you'd like them. Oh, thank you. All right. Now let me know what you can do. Uh, you don't want to put it on Grimby to kill things with? I could. Oh, wait, you can quick strike. But that's the other option I have, quick striking one of these raiders. Grant, take two resources wherever you'd like it. <laughs> 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 I just want you to know how much Gal Galadriel is staring us down right now for three display. There we go. Now, let's get back to the uh, combat phase. Okay. Now that we have something um, exciting to do. Now, is it worth me quick striking one of these 
Right, I think I'm going to end up quick striking the Corsair Umbar that's engaged with Shane. Yeah, the Raider. If you can pop him, that'd be great. Yeah, that seems like a really good idea. There you go. Quick strike with Legolas, which is enough to kill him. On the radar, the Raider, right? Yeah. yeah. The Umbar Raider, okay. And that's two extra progress that we don't need on Battle in the Bay. <laughs> you guys are doing great, though. So much progress on Battle in the Bay. Well, we've been here five turns. Okay. Um, Theoden will block the Cunning Pirate. Why you say that? What? Is there a reason Theoden should not block the Cunning Pirate? Oh, no, no. It's just... Just being silly. Okay. I'm sorry, which one? Cunning Pirate. Pirate. The Cunning Pirate, got it. Thank you. Should uh, really start drawing arrows on there so that everybody knows what we're doing. So All many right. cards on the board. Okay, I'm going to take a risk here, everybody. Aero mm -hmm. will defend Ooh. the Vision Scatter. Oh, she's doing it. Oh, my oh, gosh. Man. If you, you lose Aowen, be so grumpy. Hey. Okay. Ooh. Those aren't elves either. Just and you do a damage to a character you control. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, darn. Rider of Rohan. Riders on the this storm. They've already said that. Okay. Nobody did. I will defend the ship here. Alright. Shadow, so let's see. I do two damage. Boink. Uh, do we want to move him over with Vigilant Guard? Uh, yeah, I can take two points of that damage. Do it one on each, right? Yep. Okay, so you're going to take two with that. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, now, let's see here. I will defend... We'll defend with Thranduil, this guy. Defending for three. Defending for three. Uh, plus, one. plus one. Okay. It's fine. And then... Uh... The guy's a weenie. Go undefended. <laughs> the worst that could happen. Um, I'm not... A plus six attack. Uh, <laughs> is plus one attack, plus two if you're off course. I'm going to play this guy, this girl, just so you guys know. Um, on its to lower your threat. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, so I will now use her to defend. <laughs> Clutch. There we go. Shame. Does that go to the staging area? No, it gets uh, no, I don't think it does. It just gets discarded. Okey doke. Well, not yet. The the good news is we get to choose the order of the shadow cards are discarded. So if we really want it, we can shadow of the past it back. Yeah, but all all of these things are going to end up dying. Oh, okay. What but... what I could do is before we discard, before we kill enemies, I could choose to shadow of the past. Before the, before we kill any enemies, if we want that um, tower of the gull, mm, that seems fine. Yeah. So. Okay. So you would still function the same if you use it right now. Like we can just say you used it and it's on the top of the deck. I don't. I don't care. Okay. We picked the right moment when it was on top of the deck, and we used it. <laughs> right. It, I'm not picky about that kind of thing. Whatever that right moment was, there will have been a right moment. Okay, well, there's a Shadow of the Past for Tower of the Gold on top of the encounter deck. Now when we sail, it's still going to be discarded. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> well, then, yeah, but save your cards then. But it's still... It'll <laughs> make we're on course then. So... It's marvelous. It's true. I guess okay. it's true. Yeah, okay. Cool. So we, we only need to commit one to the sailing test then. Yeah. Okay. 
The uh, army of elves only need to only need to just sit there and look pretty. <laughs> okay. Since they're all Megali cards, though, um, that's probably... Grimbion is going to defend this vicious marauder. Nothing. Um, and Legolas, Do one damage. Legolas will take that one damage. But Grimbion will swing back for five with minus two, which is more than enough to kill the Marauder. Alrighty. Then I will take the Umbar Raider undefended for three damage. When he attacks you, you move one resource. Do you have any resources? I have yeah, one. Yeah, you do. And then I will take the light cruiser undefended. Love it. So that's I four, love it. That's four damage on the silver wing on the silver bear, and two <laughs> on one on each of the uh, one on each of these guys. Um, and now, how are we defending uh, Shane's ships? I guess Shane has to figure out how he's defending his own ship, right? Yeah, I'm going to take it undefended. Love it. And I will take two points of that damage as well. Okay. Plus one. So I take four onto my ship. And then I'm going to heal two off of Grant's board. You can use it however you'd like. Oh, thank you. You can't use it on a ship. Yeah, not on a ship. All right. Backs, boys. Let's do this. Okay, I've got... There's 12 to attack the radar flagship, which kills it. All right. That was easy. Boom. Wait, it yeah. does, right? Yep, 12. That's... Did the math Three, earlier. 12, 13. Oh, no, I have 15. Or we have 15 together. Yep. That's... Which is 12 Only damage. needed 13. <laughs> and there it is. I get it in the victory display. We all lower our threat by 10 or something like that. And uh, I'm At the end not of the doing round, anything yeah. else, everybody. Not doing anything else. That 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 was that was my contribution. <laughs> That'll do so. That'll do Donkey, that'll mm. do... <laughs> that'll do Donkey. It's even funny okay. when Grant says it. Oh, I man. know. <laughs> okay, so everybody's... Oh, uh, who did the Warden heal up? Grimbion uh, and Bard. Bard. Okay. You're next on the list, I have another Warden coming down. So, you know, each of these guys should have um, to play with a resource on it. That would have killed this thing. Cool, sure. This is a light user there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I guess I got disconnected. I got disconnected, too. Oh, no. Don't just do waiting. It. Waiting. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I'm not touching anything. Neither am I. Yep, I'm... It's on Edson that got disconnected. Right, well, what, while we're we take a picture of the board state. Charged. Well, while we're we waiting, I'm going to... the board state. Screenshot. I'm just going to sit back here while my computer... There we go. I'm back. Okay. Welcome back. Um, I'm sure the cunning pirate and the southern southern sailor get the yeah there you go okay so now I need to figure out how I'm going to kill these things um, do I kill the corsairs and leave the ship probably right okay so I need five for the so there's okay so that's this oh. which guy's dead uh I Attack there and there for five. Black guy. Okay. Now I need eight. Um, 
Grant, I don't know if it would have made a difference, but this guy would have been hitting for one more attack. No, it wouldn't, because Grimby on... Um, no, I took that one undefended, so that would be one extra damage on Bard. I think it was Bard. Yep, that and the, uh, the, the Vicious Marauder would have hit for one more damage as well, in terms of distributing. There we go. I can't remember where I placed it, so I'll just place it on my glass. <laughs> I think I placed Does it. anybody on have it. help, ranged help? Um, let's see, I need... How much are you attacking for right now? Attacking for six, I need two more. Yeah. I was... I suppose Legolas can... Well, I've got the... I mean, it doesn't matter, I can just... I can just keep... Oh, well, Onison's going Hello, to be everybody. In. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh. You can hear you. Okay. Can hear you. Uh, right. All right, you've so... been connected. Okay, I'm going take to... Quick, take a picture of the board state. I'm going to be quick and nip to the loo while we're waiting for this to sort itself out. I think that Grant just said something rude, rude, but I don't know because he said it in English. <laughs> Go take a nip to the loo. What it is? <laughs> nip, nip to the loo, nip. Edson, I swear. Oh, did you take a picture, a screenshot of the board state? No, I have not. Um, when Edson gets booted, it's. I shouldn't be. I'm. I've got my game up. It's not showing anything weird right now. It's on it's and disconnected. Please wait. If they do not reconnect within a minute, it will be booted. Well, that's kind of a jerk move of them. We had to do something. You guys are doing great. <laughs> it's the only way they could get there. <laughs> How do I take a screenshot of the board state? Is it just a screenshot of my computer, or...? I just use print screen, yeah. Okay, so oh, okay. not okay. back yet. I mean, I'm right here. My computer apparently isn't, but... I'm right here. Storms out in Utah or anything? Um, not really. You lose you internet. If I disconnected, my computer would be saying, You've been disconnected. Right? No, you, the weather in your area is fine. So it's not weather related. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sauron? He doesn't want what a win? Uh oh. No. Well, while we're waiting, shall we plan out what we would do if the computer was a... Well, I can think... just leave two, and put two damage on my my uh, my Corsair, and then that'll be fine. And, and Grant can do whatever he wants from there. I think Legolas and Bard would kill um, Sheen's ship, and then Legolas would ready and do... Um, damage to the scouting sh the, my ship and put an extra damage where it would do the most damage on one of the ships I have to remember I have to, everybody should remember what cards they have in their hands too well I've just taken a screenshot of my hand so okay yeah I'm going to do the same thing me Yeah, everyone take screenshots just in case we got to reload real quick. Yeah. Okay, I've got that. I Back yet? I can't remember what no, I'm doing this go. I'm really slightly annoyed at my computer right now. <laughs> you really slightly, slightly, slightly annoyed. It, it doesn't get to do this. It's not permitted. 
Okay, so as long as everybody has a screenshot of their uh, their uh, cards in their hand. I'm grabbing a screenshot of the cards in my Discord pile as well. Um, I can't actually grab a screenshot of the cards in my Discord. Yeah. I know I've got a couple. Okay. Of, I know I've got a couple of faints and the shadows of the past in there, but I don't know what else I've got in there. <laughs> a quick. I screen. can look it up for you. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, so I can uh, look. At, look at everybody's. Discord. You're yeah. the only. Yeah. We're we're stuck here. Okay, Grant, you have three feints, a quick strike, two shadow of the past, and an open the armory. How many feints? Two? Did you? Oh. I'll open the armor. Oh, finally! It told me I got disconnected, and now it says I've reconnected. Anything on your end? Nothing yet. yet. Oh, it's going through your rotations now. Yep, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can see you rotating on my screen. Okay. Um... Question, uh... Question for you, um, Dave. Yes. Could you have killed your ship with Legolas? This is help. With your six had... attacks spent to damaging. Ah, we're ship. back. Okay. So, um, I had six, and how much is Legolas attacking for? Uh, five with minus uh, two that's defense. That's eleven. With minus two defense. Uh, so I would have been able to kill the ship. Uh, for killing the like cruiser. You're killing well, light cruiser. Don't know yet. Okay. We, I can either do two damage on the, in pirate, or, can put, if Legolas's help. I can kill the light, light cruiser. That sound good. Yeah, I can. Help. I like I like killing things. So they'll attack us next turn. Okay. All right, light cruiser is dead. Right. Do you want to um? Get rid of that um, light cruiser with no non-return. Shane. Mm, yeah, we can do that for sure. Here's a non-return. That's what he does. Send him to the victory display. Okay, and then let's see. I've got twelve attack. I can kill your scouting ship, or I can kill my light cruiser. What do you think is the bigger problem? The light cruiser is more dangerous, I think. Or you could kill off two <clears throat> Corsairs. I don't know if that's worth it, but you could. If you get rid of the scouting ship, I can none return that as well, and I have two doors closed. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay, so get rid of the scouting ship. The scouting ship is gone. Ooh, and then I'm going to none return that as well. And that is four extra progress oh. in Battle in the Bee. <laughs> you got it. Alright, are you guys done? Uh, I have nothing else I can do. Alright, let's hop. People have been waiting for, I think, like, a few minutes. Yeah. Okay, so we had. Or no, only ten. Not bad. You guys leaving? Yep. I'm going to oh. shire folk really quick and then refresh. Oh yeah, you got to refresh. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited for the next stage. Like, I'm so excited. Like, finally. I'm so excited. No, just, it's, this is my favorite part of the quest is coming up. Alright, I'm going to use the docks really quick to heal myself, my ship up. The stable needs it. And, you know, I just want to use it before maybe anybody, uh... <laughs> Before maybe any of the objectives get taken from us by moving on to the next stage. Don't forget your elves. Go up. Alright, let's head to the command post. Yep. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. We had some technical right. difficulties with, um,. Or one of our players disconnecting from the game. <laughs> you reminded me to save our game state. Alright, 
my god, they've they've done it. The Raider flagship is no more. Wow. Nice. That's cool. I said we Very would cool. have it killed this turn. <laughs> Great. Well, that'll make this yeah. round a lot easier to handle. Yeah, well, this is going to be epic. We're going to be in secret. At stage two. Good. Does anybody have any guarded tower objectives? Nope. We have the Huron. I got a location. Tower of the Heron, hey? Yep. We just we have some sharks in our area. <laughs> we cleared two, though. So we cleared two. All right, so Tower of the Heron is... Uh, every, each first player uh, discards one random card from their hand. Okay. Anybody need to switch trips around? I think we're going to keep ours. So um, our, our new our new move forward, Joe, is they have to nothing can be guarded, right? Correct. All right. Yeah, we are happy to send ships around because we don't really need them. <laughs> well, the good news is no heroes exhaust a quest or sail this turn, and everyone lowers their threat by ten. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. It's so pretty the, powerful. The, would, would anyone like a Corsair Skirmisher or a Dol Amroth Warship? Uh, I okay. don't think so. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Oh. And it looks like no one has ships in the staging area, so we can't take those. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's, just, uh, okay. it's just up to us to get this uh, thing unlodged. And by us, I mean them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well we, right. did, we did hey. our part. We cleared the radar flagship. <laughs> yeah, you did. Thank you. So you didn't need our help at all. <laughs> Why did you call for reinforcements? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we took one of your ships. <laughs> all right, see you guys. Bye. Was that somebody coming back? Yep. Welcome back. So we all reduce our threat by ten. And Excellent. And none of our heroes commit to quest this round. One of our heroes what? None of our heroes commit to the quest this round and we each reduce our threat by ten. You mean none of our heroes exhaust a quest? Exhaust to commit to yeah. the quest or to the sailing test. Oh, awesome. okay. Okay, so I'm going to lower my throat by 10. I will take that 10. I already took the 10. <laughs> okay. Control N. Here we go. Are we moving on? No, one team has one tower captured. So they can't, you guys can't yet. Oh. Oh, whatever. Uh, it gives a chance. Unfortunate. To, it gives a chance to clear up the board some more. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we need to worry about. All right. Go ahead and plan. Okay. Uh... It's first. Planning. I'm first. Right, I'm going to play so Olorian here. Do we need to exhaust or discard or damage anything for that one tower being captured? Oh, yeah. What? Which, which uh, tower was captured? Oh, Huron. So, let's see here. Was it Gull? I don't remember, Grant. Um, Heron, I think. That's what I think, too. Do you want me to go over and see what... Ah, nah, it's okay. We'll just do Huron. You guys are kicking butt. Uh, discard one card from your hand. want to do that. David, you've got 19 cards in your hand. I think you can cope. <laughs> but I just got rid of the card that I didn't want to get rid of. But, well... You can pull Orphan back, play him out, and get your Greenwood Archer back. I know I can do that. I know I can do that. Okay. I am going to pull Orphan back into my hand. <laughs> or my threat by three. 
Okay, and now I will... Like, uh, like or Finn. Actually, I will do this. Play Orphan for two. And then I will... Uh, what Archer and put the green Archer back in my hand. <sighs> Saving one for Test of Will. Okay. Right. Let me... Uh, targeted card draw to throw my way, I would not say no. Okay. And in fact, I would really appreciate <laughs> Okay, it's me. Now, I do have another mighty prowess in my hand. Everybody's ignoring you, Samuel. Um, yeah, apparently so. I don't have card draw, so I can't help with that. Um, or I could play out another Vigilant Guard. Um, Decision, I guess. Oh, did you remember to heal the extra from... Uh... Is the tracker grant? Yes, I did. That's why I'm down to two instead of oh, one okay. four. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were a little higher than that. Okay. Um. So. Um. I think we're okay. Mighty on... Prowess seems good here. Yeah, I was gonna say I think we're okay on damage on ships, so I'll actually spend one for a mighty prowess on Grimbion. And, okay. Well, he's going to be defending this turn to kill off one of these enemies. Either way, it's only going to be one extra damage on these enemies that he's defending. Because neither Bard nor Grimbion have readying at the moment, so... And Grimbion can pretty much kill all these Corsair off by himself. No. So... That's me th logic on that. Um, what do we have in the disc? Yeah, I think that's good logic. Right, are we wanting the Starlit Sea? On top of the encounter deck or not? It's a fairly innocuous, fairly painless uh, card. Well, we've got the Sea Lake test. And we already know that the Tower of the Gull is on top of the encounter deck. Oh, that's true, and we don't have to commit to the sailing test anyway, so, I mean, we've pretty much passed it. So, I think we can just leave it like that. Okay. Brian, first player. Um, <laughs> nothing is going to have all sorts of things. I, things, I'm going to have all sorts of uh, people that I can commit to a sailing test and yeah. still be able to commit quests <laughs> and still be able to ready and like my heroes don't commit to the sailing test I have to exhaust the commit sailing test okay so I'm done with my planning Sorry, right. I'm done with my planning so Shane what are you doing it's going to play the scroll of Isildur <laughs> All right. And I think that's everything. Do you want not want to drop out that second warden? Oh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. Cool. There's a warden. Hallelujah. And I'm all set. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put Snowman out on Thoden, spend my other resource and cost reduction to put out a Rider of the Mark for one... And now we'll get out Guthwine. Again. For real this time. Guthwine. Okay. All right. So, sailing. All right. Are you sailing for anything in particular or just doing the Tower of the Gull or the Seaward Tower? Yeah, I think just that one. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. So, it what is two. What's going on? Well, oh, because, David, uh, well, do you want to... All my heroes... Can do five, right? If, if you wanted to discard an extra card, then sure. But we've 
how many cards are in the encounter deck? There are four. Oh, so if, if I go for... Um... Oh, it's not going to matter. It's going to have to reshuffle no matter what, right? Yep. Okay. i do some quick math, but... Two is four minus one. That's three. Quick math. Okay. So what do you what do you guys send in for sailing? Just the tower, the sea watch You know, tower? the top card is going to... Yeah, the top card is the one with the... So, yeah. yeah. So we have to hit the one. But... So we're sending nothing to sail in because the sea watch tower covers two. Right. Okay. So you're doing two? Yep. Yes. One, two. Shockingly, right. we still... Now, and... discarding, do but we want they... to put the tower of the... Three came out, right? That's area. No, that... Oh. It looks like three came out, or...? The light crews I just moved from my station this area. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Now, do we want to put this... Because it was too close. Now, because we've just completed the sailing test, do we want to discard the heavy cruiser first and then get the Tower of the Gold back on top of the encounter deck so we actually reveal it? I yeah. didn't know we choose the order. We choose the order in which to get discarded from the staging area, don't we? I thought it's discarded in the order it was. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Somebody look up the... Let's just say you guys did that. Okay, <laughs> I'll spend two for another Shadow Go to of the... one of the other... I'll do another Shadow of the Path to put the Tower of Gull on top of the encounter deck. Ruby. And you want to move that light cruiser Ruby, back Ruby, to Jazzy, me. funky. Move it and a I'm bit. first player, so I get that first player token. Um, do you want to move it a bit further down? Yes, so you when do. You move... <laughs> Just so it doesn't move when you um, reveal something from the encounter deck. Okay. Alright. You guys are questing for a lot. Yes. Uh, eight, I'm going to quest for... Ten. Uh... Actually, I need to start on them. Okay. Quest for three. Your heroes don't exhaust to commit to the quest. They don't? Nope. Okay. Not this round. Before. Because you guys killed the flagship. Uh, I got in 14. Because I can. Eight. And. Eleven, twelve. I think I'm. I think I'm doing twelve. How much did you say, Samuel? Thirteen. Okay, so that's twenty-six. Answer zero and. I'm. Um, I'm sending ten. My hero. Sending ten. Oh, because I don't exhaust. Oh, okay. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. All right, you guys ready? Or eight or four cards? A minute. I'm gonna just be some people. Shane, you got any tricks to reduce uh, the number two, of cards this round? Or um, I'm gonna save it for a door is closed. Okay. Okay. So thirty versus three. Here we go. Hey! Hey! Shockingly, that's guarded. All are guarded. Boarding party. Uh boarding party. We got rid of one of those, right? Yep, there's one right there. In the wow. victory display. Here's this. Nice. So we can doors close to that one. And we claim the tower right, of the gold. Your second card. That discarded. Second card. Wait, wait stop. Aren't guarded cards added and not reviewed? On its not end. again. Guarded cards, they did not revealed. Well, normally yes, but I think this guarded is different. Where the actual oh, it's the guarded, it's guarded like it's... in Escape from Dumbledore. Yeah, yeah. yeah where, where the actual treachery can guard it and the treachery triggers. 
Okay, we're waiting on Onitsen. Why would you be doing that? What is this? Popcorn? Yep, sorry, yeah, that's popcorn. <laughs> Jeez. His USB popcorn maker. <laughs> some some ruffians from down the street broke into my home and lit firecrackers off. Or Sarah from down the street. Sounds like a blast. It will be when the arrow Okay, we're fire. back up. There we are. Okay. All right. So, so second card was the scouting ship, right? Yep. Okay. Third card is the fog bank. Third oh, okay. card is the starlit sea. Don't we have the fog bank in the the uh, in? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. So our tower of the goal. Okay. Alrighty. So three, five. You guys beat it. It put twenty-two progress on the twenty-two progress on the on the battle bay. We're up to three. Four. <laughs> you got it, Chief. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I went over. Uh, well, you know. Okay. Travel to the coast of Anpolis? I can exhaust a ship. <laughs> sure. Let's get rid of it, yeah. Okay. Uh, engagement. Okay. Uh... Um... All right, who wants the ship? You. It's Actually, me. no, it's not. Oh, I don't have resources. I'm gonna say I'll, I can kill it, but I can't. I don't have the resources. <laughs> That's bad. I have a whole bunch of ready. Oh, and yeah, Dave has an actual army. We can let him take the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I got the boat. I got the boat. Okay, Dave. You All can right, I can defend the go. and I can defend the boat if I need to. And ready. Oh, that, that, that's an easy guy to deal with. Uh, oh, we got two damage up there with the tower now. All right, shadow time. Dun dun dun. One, two, three, four, five. You Six. forgot my umbar <laughs> radar there. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Technically, that goes here. That goes there. Okay. Fences. Does anybody want to defend my scouting ship? I'll defend your scouting ship. Okay. Unless you'd rather I defend that light cruiser, Grant. Uh... I'd prefer someone defend the light cruiser because otherwise um, Silverwing's yeah, probably going to die. This ship is, yeah, Bear is uh, going nuts. I'll defend my ship. I briefly chasers. got disconnected, so go ahead and uh, flip shadow cards if you want while I reconnect. The, uh, Dream Chaser is over there. Yeah, I can defend the frothy pint. frothy pint. I can't the Frothy Pint defend something. You definitely can. Here we go. Okay. So Froffy... Make yourself useful over there, hobbits. Froffy Pine defends <laughs> the light You're cruiser? defending... Scouting ship or the light cruiser? Uh, whichever Grant prefers. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, it, whichever Grant prefers. It makes no difference to me who defends... That, okay. Think that okay. Our Lenya, uh, the stable, should defend the light cruiser, then the Dream Chaser should defend... The, the scouting ship. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'll turn over that. All right, yeah, I'm I'm lagged at the moment, so if you guys could turn them, that'd be okay, great. Okay, so yep. um, the stable, the stable's defending the light cruiser. Okay. Done. Okay. And the frothy pints defending the scouting ship. Okay, so the scouting ship plus one. 
Sure, I take a uh, two, no problem. You want me to siphon uh, that damage for you? Uh, sure, yeah. I'll just stay at five then. Okay, there's um, that. And now I will defend... Um, I've got to defend my Umbar Raider, which Grumbion will defend. I still have two defenses left. Okay, uh, Grant just wants to... I, I, thought, I, I thought I was first player for some reason, it's not just you. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting over first player. Okay, I'm going to defend here. I defend. Okay, I will defend the... Um, the... Uh, this... Um, Are we still waiting on Bob? I'm back. Can you flip the encounter card? Nah. The There it is. There we go. Okay. Good. Uh, that's damage to Thranduil. Okay. And now I will defend this guy like this. We'll pull Galleon back into my hand. Dude, I'm lagged out again. You should probably just do it. I think there's just too many cards on screen right now. Your lagging is causing me to have to wait to take control of the cards. There are just way too many cards on the screen. Well, do you want to move all the victory display cards into the victory display? Sure. That might help um, speed things up. Yeah, if someone could do that who has any control right now, that'd be helpful. Right, I'll do that. I'll take control of all these. I don't have any control. My screen is really waking out right now. Like, this is not normal, what it's doing. If you guys can control anything, I would go for it right now. I'm, I'm wigging out pretty hard. Trying to, but can't. I'm struggling. To Are we just, some... We're just cleaning up this victory display. I'm struggling trying to yeah. take some of this victory display and clean it up. I'm managing to get some, but not all of it. Because it's a fight between Bob's wigging out and we're taking control. Tom Bombadillo. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got all If you can do any of the other combat cards, that would be good. Maybe you can get control of those. I'll try. Up in that Rider of the Mark. No, I can't flip that shadow card for David. Um, and I can't... I'm trying to take control of. Have I been turning cards hey, or anything? Aha, uh -huh. Bob, you should be ready to go. Well, let me take control of this. Ah! Yeah, I can't take control of anything. Uh, well, like, whatever is happening is not normal in, in terms of waking up. I can't take control of anything. No, neither can I. I've done what I can. I mean, honestly, it might be just better to restart it. Start what? Uh, like, reset our board state. Is your computer still, uh... It, it, what it does oh, is my hey, screen starts... I just took control of a card. My hey. screen starts flashing 
is what's been happening, which doesn't normally happen. Yeah. Oh. When I'm losing connection. Okay, so I took a damage here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, things might be normal. Hey, I'm back. Okay. Okay, I have that one shadow card that also needs to go away. Okay. There. I'll just start sending things to the victory display just in case that helps. Yeah, it should. Thank you. It should theoretically help because there's less things on the screen then. All right. So are we are we over to the light cruiser under attack now? Yes, I believe. Yes. Okay. Uh, the the stable will defend the light cruiser. Okay. <laughs> no. It is not a raider. And I will siphon that one I... damage. Thank you. Okay. Now you get to defend over there, Mr. Mr. Man. Yeah, and that's attacking for five, so Grimbion will defend. Still with us, Shane? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, just making sure you've been quiet through the... And that's no shadow effect, so that's just one damage. Okay. And now it's time for to defend my guys. Uh, before you defend, I'm going to send two healing over there. I am not a fan, but we're going to try it. You're not a fan? Just sent okay. two healing to you. Gambling. We'll defend a vicious you know, marauder. Yeah. I don't think you heard me. Some. Emil? You can... Just went... Uh, no, again. apparently, uh, I'll get disconnected. You can heal off two of your characters. He's just used Warden of Healing for you. When you reconnect. <laughs> Uh, uh, Am I back? Doesn't look like it. Well, I meant in voice chat. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah we can do you. Yeah, yeah. I would suggest planning out what you're going to kill because the other teams have been ready for, I think, five or so minutes. Um, well, let's see. Uh, Legolas can kill <laughs> pretty much all the course, well, three of the course there, or he can help mm. kill the two ships that are still engaged. I mean, I can kill both of the Corsairs in front of me, and I'm pretty sure that Dave can handle his Corsairs. Yeah, I can... Right. Okay. okay. We seem to be back here. Um, how are you defending? You can take two, uh, Shane healed two with his Warden. Okay. Um... It helps your heroes. Yeah, it helps the heroes. I'll take that healing on Theodred and Eowyn. I'm going to do gambling against the Vicious Marauder. Three versus okay. two should survive. Yep. And you oh. need to place okay. the damage from the Vicious Marauder. Right, that'll go on Cure. No, it won't. It'll go on the Rittermark's Finest. Okay, and now what about the Cunning Pirate? Elf Helm will defend. All right, that's two damage, but he lives. Okay, now for combat, uh, David, what you doing? Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna. What happened to me, Marauder? <laughs> what? It's two. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to discard the shadow, not your marauder. Or... Oh, I actually can't quite kill mine. I can kill the one, but not both. Okay, so that kills this guy. Uh, I'm sorry. 
Uh, does this guy eat? Am I doing this? Yeah, your pirate will take eight. Okay, so I'll do eight and kill this guy. Okay. Right. And then I will uh, attack ship it's three. All I can do is one damage to the ship. Uh, if Legolas wants to join in, though, that can yeah, Legolas will help add a fair bit more. So that... well, actually, that kills it, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's got no defense when Legolas joins in. Okay. Okay. Oh, next. Okay, for me, let's see, that's attacking for five each round. Uh, it's, that's attacking for six. Uh, right, Legolas and Silverwing are enough to take out my light like, cruiser. They are? Um, Legolas has got minus two and Silver Wings attacking for four, plus Legolas is five, that's nine. Right, but Legolas doesn't get the Rivendell bow. Rivendell blade, minus two defense. Right, but you don't get the bow boost from... He could have, he could have mighty prowess it yeah. if he wanted, and it'd be dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Cause, okay. Because he killed that other ship, so he get the one yeah. damage. That's fair. All and right. Then, um, Bard is enough to kill my yeah. Umbar Raider. Okay. With Legolas. Umbar Raider. Yeah, Bard and Legolas are enough to kill off that Umbar Raider. And I have no more okay. ready to help attack. That's okay. I will kill off my cunning pirate. There's eight to kill the pirate. And I actually only have two left, so I can't do much more, so. And you get your goof one trigger, right? The end. Um, I do. For your threat and draw card. Alright, so the Corsair Infiltrator is going to take a resource of yours. Um, yeah. Also, I get to put a point of damage on one of these Corsairs. So, whoever you want to put a point of damage on from Mighty Prowess. Also, are we triggering Legolas's ability to clear off the course of Antlas? Might as well. Yeah, man. Uh, let's uh, trigger it with that Infiltrator. My Infiltrator? Yeah, let's hit the Infiltrator okay. with the Mighty Prowess. Hey. Right, I think we're done. Okay. Put a damage on the Corsair Infiltrator. And who's yeah. getting that second Warden of Healing's bonus? Yeah, so I'm going to use it right, right. now. And did you lower your threat and raise your and draw a card? No, I did not, but thank you. I drew. Um, so, um, right, I think we Shane, can... who are you targeting with your second Warden there? Um, Samuel, go ahead and heal two more. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right, and now we'll head over to the command post and be back. Time. In. Hey, we've been having technical difficulties with the sheer number of cards on the table. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we uh, hope it's the sh because of the sheer number of cards on the table. All right, so I think we're gonna get everybody in command post for this one. Okay. Okay. Hold. Yeah. Hold. hold. Yep. Thank you. 
first. This is exciting. We're all here. Hello. You've all made it to the command post. All right, so we've decided that the tide of the battle has turned, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Which is supposed to be the trigger for moving on to stage three, but uh, some teams are just uh, slow at clearing guarded locations. So um, the decision here is, <laughs> is whether to leave them behind or to uh, just go on anyways. And we're choosing to go on anyways. Just one more turn, come on. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think that we need to stay up till midnight like some people were talking about. So, um, so we're moving on to stage 3A. We're going to uh, just go ahead and do that. This and... is the best part anyway. So. Yeah. Before everybody gets too sleepy to enjoy 3. Uh, so the question here, uh, moving on to stage 3, uh, normally there would still be ships in play, but does anybody have any ships left? Yes. <laughs> no. <You> go... <laughs> nope. Oh, that's right. My nope. team has ships left. Okay, that's good to know. The fog bank. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted, we started that round with uh, one guard location. We ended with three. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speed ships, we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, so, um, anyways, so uh, the question now is, who's going on to 3A and who's going on to 3C? Uh, the team with the fewest enemy ships in play moves on to 3A. The others move on we to have, 3C. We have none. We okay, have none. Yep. So you guys get to choose who's going to 3A. Amongst you two. Uh, Alex. Well, I'll do uh, it. I volunteer our table. Volunteers tribute. I will take it, though I do not know the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which I think table that's a that? winner. I got that's a winner. That, that was me. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was, uh, that was so uh, wandering wandering table. Too. Okay. All right, here is 3A. Watch how this is a total trap. <laughs> <laughs> and when revealed, I was hoping so. Discard What's this all thing? allies. No. It's a, remove <laughs> all tower objectives from team. It's your Dol Amroth objective in another team staging area under their control. Shuffle the discard pile in the encounter deck and discard locations until X locations have been discarded, where X is the number of players in the game. You guys are ignoring card. the flavor text we worked so hard to write. Oh. It's the long Lord of the Rings tradition. Man. Reinforcements have turned the tide of the fight. The heat of the battle elsewhere. You see open seas and the opportunity to catch Sahir, but the Corsairs won't let you get away so easily. Give chase. We'll sail ahead. All right. So remove all tower objectives from the game means wherever they are in play, discard pile, Draw pile, all the tower ones, but not the one you started with original. Mm -hmm. uh, just that the, one staging area, right? What's that? Just their staging area. Uh, yeah, this is their. They're a three A. You you are not. Um, and then you get to pick uh, one of the teams to get the Dal Amrath objective. So which, so which one do you guys have? You have the beacon. The beacon. Yep. Okay. So uh, pick somebody else to give that to. The COTR stream? Cool. Okay. I'm just, that, that, that was a suggestion. The, was the, same. the needle That's all they help. need is more things to get guarded on them. <laughs> the needle help the king guess. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Oh, speaking of, we sent COTR a, uh, a warship, a dull Amroth warship. We don't need help. We're doing fine. <laughs> Really? Take the ship. We're not, yeah. the ship. We're, not, we're not allowed to buy more ships. We're maxed out. <laughs> and you can't say no. It's our choice. Yeah. <laughs> Eat my what ship. If... <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth okay. it. It's exhausted. You can't use it. This okay, so you guys resolve. You get to shuffle up and get a bunch of new locations. While we're doing that, let's reveal 3C. The other teams. That is right here. Okay, send me the flavor text that we wrote. I got it. The strength of the attack is broken by the courage of your fleet, and the Corsairs begin to flee. In their fight, the Corsairs now turn their full attention to stopping your allies from catching the traitor Sahir. With renewed speed and urgency, you must chase down the fleeing Corsairs, board and sink as many of them as possible, so that the seas are safe for your friends in the pursuit of Sahir to Umbar. 
All right, everybody removes all tower objectives from the game. Normally okay. this wouldn't happen until you controlled them, but some teams just can't, uh, don't want to delay the whole rest of the group. You clearly won the battle, so. <laughs> uh, do we get to keep the docks of Dal Amroth? Yes, you do, because that is not a tower objective. Okay, and the okay. word tower is... All right, so here is stage 3B. You guys can do the uh, locations. It won't really affect what's going on here. D. Ooh. You can only put oh. one progress on, a, on the card per turn. <laughs> that third paragraph is awful. You like that? We were, we were no. pretty happy with that. Yeah, that Sailing was a real bear. <laughs> Camel Pro option engaged is kind of bad. <laughs> after we all dropped our threats by 10. That's true. Yeah. Progress well, can right. only be placed here if you are on course. If you are off course, each ship enemy gets minus 5 engagement cost. Each ship enemy in the staging area gets plus 2 threat, gains archery 3, and cannot be optionally engaged. Because basically they're chasing you, and they're trying to catch you, uh, and you don't want to be caught. If the last player is eliminated at this stage, last player. all teams lose. If this stage is defeated, you have outrun the enemy and the players win. Now go get Sahir. I like how it's the last player eliminated and not the first. Uh, well, I mean, there's, maybe there's still hope if somebody's left. All right, and meanwhile, <laughs> uh, everybody else <laughs> is doing this. Five. Five progress. That's... Yeah, that's it. Sailing. Yeah. Progress yeah. can only be placed here if you are on course. Each ship enemy gains boarding two... That two Victory. extra or two Victory extra. Victory one and does not make engagement checks. Fourth, oh. at the end of the round, the ship enemy with the highest threat in the staging area moves to the staging area of the team at stage 3B. Hmm. Response, at the end of the round, if there is at least five progress on this stage, the first player may remove all progress from the stage to choose a ship enemy in the staging area of another team at either stage 3 and engage it. So basically, you guys are now chasing down the Corsairs. You're trying to sink as many of them as you can, and the boarding is higher because uh, you are boarding them. It's now the cooks fighting. Uh, you know, now the everybody before it was just the boarding party coming through. Now it's every man for himself. Boarding five for a warship now. That's boarding five for worship. We did test that, in case you're wondering. Yes, it is a bear. <laughs> I can tell you that. Uh, we tested it, and it does indeed suck. <laughs> I don't even think you need to test that. We just know that. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That minus ten threat is not coming to uh, bite us in the butt. Well, it depends. I mean, if, if you guys don't want to be caught, no, so no, just sail out. Does. I mean, so that's I, it. I kind of, I kind of said, oh, we'll, we'll take three A because I figured it would be harder, and I was like, yeah. I want to kill some more ships. It turns out nope. it's the stage where we're not killing the ships. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so I will say this. I, I did forget about this, but we would have done the end of the round checklist for stage 2B before we did all that. And since one team still has guarded objectives, I'm going to say all the first players have to deal with that. Normally they'd be gone, but Jeez. let's deal with that. What do you guys Wait. got over there? That's so bad. Yeah. Out of the goal. Tower of and the Tower of the Haram. Okay. So Tower of the Gull is two damage to the first player's ship and random card. All right, that's it. Quest out and win. Good luck. All Yay. right. See you soon, guys. Okay, I've taken right. the two. I've taken the two damage and discarded a card at random for being the first player. Uh, okay. Hey, Grant, I'm not a fan of uh, how that, how much damage you've got there, so I'm going to kill you up. Oh, thank you. And that's two, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, get ready for extra boarding. <laughs> Sounds Ready. like it. Ready for boarding. Okay. One of the one of the times we play tested this, I engaged a warship, 
and got boarding five and killed every single enemy before they could attack me with Oath of Aeoral. Uh, very good round. That's easy. That's beautiful. All right, you guys have made it. Have we? Did I draw anything good? Ooh, actually, I kind of did. The, the general idea is you want to be engaging stuff so that they don't go over to the other team. Of course. All right. It's going to target bird. Okay, bard and like are now questing for five apiece. And have six attack each. Okay, sounds good. Dave, I'm the infiltrator takes one of your resources. Yeah, I figured that. I took it off of Kelleborn. That all he does does is get. And he gets extra shadow cards. But, right. Okay, that's fine. He's gonna die anyway. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay, what's next? Sailing. Sailing? Yep. Yes. Sailing. Okay. Sailing, sailing on the brook. <laughs> oh, and it's Grant, isn't it? Yes, it is, mate. Yeah. So, I and we will... don't have the extras. I will send Silver Wing. And if um, send the dream, sir. if the fr frothy beer wouldn't mind helping, yeah, that's no problem. So that's three. Three? Oh boy! Got it. All right, Are you ready? Yep. Oh, but go. Uh, oh, there it is. And I'm glad to see boarding party go. All right. So, so that's three. So now time for the All class. right. Oops. I've got 13. Oh. This sounds stupid, but I so long for how much progress do we have to make? Five. A minimum of five progress. And if we get five, we can then remove. You can. To the hit. first player can pull a ship. Okay. Okay, so two, four, seven, eight, nine. It's for nine. What did you say? Um, oh, I said nine. And then what did you say, uh, Shane? I just six as usual. Six. It's 15, five. Samuel. I had 13. And so that's eight. And Grant, you said five. Yeah, if you're sending thirty-three. The, that's with the ninth guide. Yeah. That was with the ninth guide, and there's three in the staging area. Kiduk. Ready? Three versus three. I think you got this. Here come your four cards. Oh, you lucky ducks. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Bunch of garbage. <laughs> uh, we just made that's eight, so it's eleven. We made twenty-two progress. No, we are making more than that because I'm hands upon the Boeing with leg left to kill that um, scouting ship. <laughs> Alright, that goes to the seed display. Ship. The seed ship? I can't kill the seed ship in one hit with um, hands upon the ball. Okay. So 
so hence I took out okay, the seed board. ship. Are you gonna travel to Coast of Ob or Koba's Haven or Starlet Sea? I think the Starlet Sea. Uh, so you know we made twenty four progress. Yeah, I'm not gonna remove twenty four off of there. Well, no, it only says trigger, it only easy. says we have to remove five. So we no, it says remove all. All right, it says remove all. It says remove all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on whether we want to deal with boarding two or boarding one on that seed ship. Let's go to the Cobalt well, Haven. It... Oh, you're saying, well, let's see, right? Oh, let's go to the Starlet Sea. Well, if we go to the Starlet Sea, the seed ship has got boarding two. Can we do deal with another two Corsair? Maybe. Of course, of course we can. Deal with it. Okay. Good to me. Starlet Sea? Yeah, we'll go to the Starlet Sea. Okay, yeah. Sea. Starlet Sea. We'll save the Cobas Havens till uh, we need them later on when things get more dire. Yeah, definitely. So, okay. Starlet Sea. Alright. I am willing to take that seed ship. I was going to take I, the seed ship. Oh, whatever okay, you want. Man. Oh, whatever you want, man. How do I send it to the active location? I keep hitting Control A. I'm blanking um, on what I do. Click on the Control A. You should click be able on the to... Starlet C and then hit Control A. There we go. Nope, not, not that one. The Corvus Ava. I'm trying to create a hill troll, which I don't want to do. You do that. It's a Tom Bombadil. <laughs> I'll, I'll take control of it and I'll do it. Did it Gosh, for you. Computer is wigging. Thank you. All right. Oh, Who's mean, taking you know the seed ship? I will take this. Uh, at the end of the round, at the end of the quest phase, the seed ship takes control of this Dalam Rock dock. Okay. So if you, if Shane wanted, he could great hunt this um, seed ship. You um. I don't have the third resource right now. You almost done with right, yeah. So. Who's taking the seed ship? You know, I'll take it so that I have more enemies to Guthwine with, if that's okay with oh, that's fine. everyone else. Otherwise, I'm almost out of enemies. Yeah, right. that. that's fine. Here you go. Okay. Here we go. Enemies, enemies. Which enemies? Really? <laughs> what is that? Okay, fine. <laughs> I, I hate you too. <laughs> you have to do archery damage, so take. I'll okay, take archery. so the pirate and the raid leader each get a resource on them. Okay. Okay. All right. Shadow I, turn on. I hate them too. Okay. The shadows, and then I'm gonna do something fun. Okay. And I'm going to use Thranduil's ability and pull out Rumil. <laughs> Beautiful. And, and doing that, I'm going to kill this guy right there. Okay. I have three ranged characters, so I can do three direct damage. Okay, it looks like you've given... You have to kill all the enemies for this one? Really? And have you almost killed all the enemies? Sneak attack Hobbit. What was that happening next? Have you almost killed all the enemies? This is my little boy, everybody. This is James. <laughs> James. Hi, James. What are we doing? Right. It's what, what's problem. happening next here? Um, I will defend. What's up to? Uh, oh, wait. so. Oh, am I defending first? Okay. Room, room, room Defender. Room. I'll defend with my ship against this ship. Uh, Samuel, Onitz, and uh, Grant wanted to do a thing or two um, for I you too. I can defend. Oh, I can defend one of your corsairs if you want. 
I okay. would appreciate that. So, so first I'll do the defense of the ship. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Uh, I don't need to siphon any damage because five against five. Okay. Um. Then I have a raid leader, and I would really appreciate Grimbjorn defending that go. one. <laughs> it's not a ship, so one damage. Okay. Um, and then that cunning pirate. It's attacking for three. What do we think? Uh, Shane, are you up to healing Elfhelm? I could have him defend it. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at, actually. Um, I'll heal uh, the two off of Elfhelm with both of my Wardens, and then, uh, Grant, do you want to heal two off of something? I would love to. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright. Elfhelm will go ahead and defend the last enemy. Excellent. Is that and Grant, if you want to siphon that damage away from Elfhelm onto Grimbjorn, Grimbjorn will heal up both of those before go. the end of the turn, right? Already done. Okay, I'll defend. defend. Is this yours or is this yours? I'm defend this guy right here. No shadow. Oh. No yep, damage. No shadow and no, no. damage. Why, are you, why is that arrow there? Just okay. It was shown who's defending. All right. The defender. Why does the boarding party keep showing up? I, I don't know. I keep deleting it. And it keeps showing up. And I'm worried I've added like nine boarding parties <laughs> to, to your discard. Which, while thematic, is very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, attacking wise, I have. Uh, two I, I have. Hold on a second. Yeah. Uh, who's got the ability to put a point of damage onto the Corsair and Fisher? Uh, uh, Legolas has. Legolas. Yeah. So if Legolas can kill one of those Corsairs, then my what? Corsair can be killed, and then I can range over and kill stuff. His side. Legolas can easily kill the Corsair raid leader. Okay. On his own. Which would then in and... turn kill the Corsair infiltrator. Okay. And put two... Alright, so with Mighty Prowess, the infiltrator's gone. Yeah, and that's. I have my good. two ships that can attack and do. Oh, my ships plus Theoden and Guthwine will kill the siege ship. Okay, so that's the sea Good, ship, the raid right. leader, and the infiltrator are gone. And Legolas and um, Bard are enough to kill the other cunning pirates. So that's all enemies in our play area dead. Wow. Well done. <laughs> and the Starlit Sea. And the Starlit Here. Sea is also gone. Can we put six more progress on the location? <laughs> so we've actually put 30 progress on the, on the current it's round. Okay. Okay. It's not horrible. Um, six progress shy of fifty. Holy cow! <laughs> six progress shy of fifty. Uh, let's head to post, guys. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Um, Other team isn't done yet. We're not done we're, last. Uh, we're we're going this turn. Okay, so let me uh, heal some damage here. And don't forget to heal some of your damage, too. So, uh, were you going to use Galadriel, Dave? Yes, I will use... I'm not going to use Galadriel. You're going to use Galadriel. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh. Ooh, excellent. If only I had an extra resource. I got this card right here. <laughs> yeah, Mark, it's called a very good tail. It's a nice card.
Dang. Hello? You guys Hello? are kicking butt. <laughs> All three teams are. Well, it sh we should be. We're four and a half hours what? into this stream. Where's <laughs> <laughs> the compute? Could hear. Who's that? Hey, Gramps. Hey. Hey. Hey, my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. I was going on I mean, your we side. We were worried about making this quest too hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's too easy. You it's... guys are kicking its butt. Yeah, it's got some. I mean, there are some tough components to it, but uh, um, yeah, I think you could you could definitely amp it up. Well, I think next time we play this, it ought to be in nightmare mode. Yeah, maybe just try that and I swap out or add some of the nightmare cards. Because nightmare mode. Is... Why? Why do you want it nightmare mode next? Well, we we definitely. I was telling our guys said we. We didn't want to make, since this is our first go at Epic Multiplayer, we didn't want to make it punishing. Because, you know, there's quests that we have stuff planned for, like, you know, Helm's Deep, that that's going to be punishing. Oh, yep. Yep. That's going to be fun. Punishing. But clearly, but we need to make it harder. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm, I remember that I was uh, wanting to jump on the design team for Helm's Deep. I don't know if I have time to do a lot of contribution but i'd like to at least talk through some things hey if if you want to talk through some things and, and do some play testing that's that's gravy we always need that well as long as i'm not working i can help play test well thank you we when we were testing this a majority of how we tested it was uh, two-handing, each of us two-handed one of the stages. Um, well, I, I can imagine that this is a, would be a lot more difficult uh, with yeah, only two There's a whole different animal with two players at each stage, that's for sure. For obvious reasons. Uh, that's really, really fun to play if you ever want to grab six people and do that. That's It's a blast. Could you imagine nice. doing this? Could you imagine doing this solo with um, three people? Oh, I don't think you could, right? There's no way. You, or maybe you could. I don't know. <laughs> Is it like when you do it, when we did it with two players testing it, it it, it, it took everything you had to stay afloat if you were team two A. Eh? Yeah, I think it would be very, very difficult to do it with them three people, if it was at all possible. Maybe C-Stan could come up with something to do that could do it. <laughs> Dang, yeah, you guys were just, you guys were all too, it seems like every team is too far ahead to, to have any actual difficulty. I wonder if uh, stage three it wouldn't be a, a good idea to maybe add a couple extra ships in when you advance. We were worried that when we were testing at least, there were enough ships coming over That's from the fair. other teams. Because the idea would be that you move on. They... they the other team should have had their objective captured, which meant that you guys would have gone into this stage with you know, like five engaged enemies, I think. Which might have changed how you handled other... Yeah, you know, I don't know. It might have changed how you handled some other stuff. Right. The idea is there's there's already enough ships engaged. And then... Maybe, maybe reveal a couple of Corsairs or something like that. Yeah, well, well, what we were worried with, even when we tested with four player, there were enough ships that were just kind of hanging around that we didn't want to have it be just an instant loss for people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I think because of the fact, and we that... also really didn't want to make it like punishing uh, this for this first go. Like we didn't need to. We were say we decided we didn't want to make it. I mean, we didn't want to, nor did we need to make attack on Dol Guldur yet. I think. That's... That's fair, and I wonder if all of us came loaded for attack on Dol Guldur. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's PTSD pretty... from that night. My goodness, <laughs> that first night. Oh, man. 
Yes. Well, that's why I build such powerful combat decks, because I know everybody else can handle the questing or whatever else. As long as I've got a, a whole bunch of people, there's 12 of I can point. help out, you know what I mean? I can cover the weakness uh, in either the offense or the defensive part. Now, I will say that I'm impressed at how well we've done without really a superpower dedicated defender. Yeah. Why have we got a boarding party there? <laughs> I don't know. It keeps appearing. It, it literally keeps appearing right here <laughs> on the screen. Is it actually adding a yeah, I have trolling. Okay, we've got more cards in the victory display than we have in the encounter deck. <laughs> Sounds about right. Mission accomplished. We have 20... We have, let's see, I think there's something like 25 cards in the encounter um, in the victory display after you take out the... Um, let's see, you take out... No, we actually have about 24 cards after you take out Tom Bombadil and Tom Bombadillo <laughs> and then the um, beacons and the um, rule sheet I think we've got about 25 cards 23 cards in the victory display and there's only 20 cards in the encounter deck <laughs> Ben? So who... Yeah, it's almost 5 in the morning I know, and I've, and I've got to go to work later. <laughs> oh my gosh. You madman. Well, when I agreed to do this, I wasn't working, and I had nothing planned. I was hoping to be done about 3, 4 o'clock. It's now 5. <laughs> oh, jeez. So I Hopefully the day goes fast because it'll be like you're sleeping. Well, Ooh, are um, we are we ready to go to the command post now? Oh, yeah, we are. For the command post. Yes. Hey, y'all are just too good. Yeah. Good job. I was boarding five. We very nearly just won this round. <laughs> we Such had a uh, problem. We had five cards in the encounter deck. Three of them were ships, so I shuffled in an Eagle of the North, and the first card we pulled was the Eagle of the North, so we didn't get to fly away any of the ships. <laughs> <laughs> two, two of the ships were warships, and one of them was a light cruiser. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> That's just Seriously. so lucky. <laughs> We could have put all raiders in play all at once if we had bored that gauge all three of them. <laughs> all 14. Uh, our, our stage had a uh, has a couple of uh, warships in the staging area. So one went to 3B, but then they used their progress to call it back and engage it. So okay. they joined you guys briefly, and then we caught up to it. All right. Thanks, okay. guys. Anything else? I don't think so, bud. Okay, then there let's are no out. ships. There are no ships in staging area for us, so. Okay. All right, we'll be back soon. Well, that was a bit anticlimactic for <laughs> the command post. Happened. Nothing really happened. <laughs> Everywhere's oh. pretty much clear. One team, one team got boarding five from a warship. That was cool. Yep. <laughs> Be ready to go. Yeah, y'all can uh, end this fight. It sounds like they're gonna quest through. Cool. Okay. So I would know. recommend going nuts and engaging whatever you can and. We take a ship from somebody. There, there were none. The team that lost it took it right back. Okay. Samuel here. 
What? Control N and Bodhi. Waiting on you to control uh, control N, I guess. Come on. Then uh, we need to heal up something. Yep, that would be a good idea. Okay. Um, apparently I doubled up on things. Uh -huh. I have as well, apparently. Two. But... Okay. Let's see. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's start. Okay. Oh, who's first? Me, I uh, believe. Shane. Oh. It's Shane. Yeah, I think it's I think it's me. Yeah. It's turn eight. <laughs> Bet you there's a boarding party somewhere ready to come out, right, Bob? <laughs> I sure hope so. Well, let's uh. Bam! Oh, let's... <laughs> there it is. Wait, what's this for? Thing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, here's a, the hidden way. For free. Free! Hidden way! Hopefully a Kobas Haven is on the top. Alright, you ready for me to show you the top five cards? Please. Yes. There you go. Alright, cool. Just one. That's it. <laughs> okay, so we well, get one. Better, I'm glitched right. out completely um, down here. Well, when I checked the um, encounter deck before, there was um, zero cards in the encounter deck. That skill chip wasn't there. Oh, I'm showing one, but I also could be glitching. So um, I was I showing one as well. Zero. Saw zero. We were trying to count how many cards were in the victory display versus in the encounter deck. So if I don't get a location, do we still get the one less card? No. Oh, I just tried shuffling then. the cards into the encounter deck, and 18 of them stayed in the discard. Well, I've got 24... <laughs> Is everyone else seeing that? I've got 24 cards in the... Um, yeah, in the I see 24. Deck. see 24 okay. cards. We're just going to go with that. My entire global tab is messed up royally right now. So we'll just go with that and show you the top five cards. Sure. Okay. And our two Cobas Havens dis uh, disappeared as well. Good. <laughs> yeah, where'd the Cobas Havens go? Back into the encounter deck, I think. Right. Pull, out that... Pull out that one, and then we'll travel to the coast of Anfalos. Like, fair enough, right? You're, you're traveling to the coast of Anfalos? Um, with, the, the... with the hidden way, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah we'll then... Take the coast as the active, and then the uh, Cobas should be in play. Be in play. And then we need to find another... Yeah. Bus. Man, this is a dumpster fire down here <laughs> in my global tab. That's kind of weird. Looks fine to me. I'm glad it looks okay to you guys. I have cards turned sideways. I got double ups all over the place. It's it's, it's not good. All I don't right. know what's real and what isn't. It's like an Arkham game. <laughs> Are we ready to do shaving? You guys took too long and Cthulhu showed up. <laughs> hey, that's not our fault. That's the internet's fault. All right, you guys got a sale. Sure. Uh, um, well, it's planning for me, so I'm going to drop out. Um, oh, that's right. I was going to say, do we plan? I want to drop out this copy of um, our friend who wants it. Thaden, Thaden always is one. I'll take it on Thaden. There you go. feel like the boats should be able to have elf friend. <laughs> 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 I know I already made this joke, but boats and elves are not friends. Well, especially not with the Legolas there. Eh? I think he's took down nearly the entire <laughs> navy. 
Bob, is that uh, not Bob? Uh, I still haven't planned. Here. I'm gonna plan. Plan. Pull this guy. I did catch the here, by the way. So you guys are playing with house money. Oh, we won. I don't know if the game immediately ends or not. Yeah, I'm targeting. Uh... If this stage is defeated, so I mean, technically they won. Target uh, bird. Okay. Okay. I think that's game, right? Or do you guys play it out? Oh. Win's a win. We actually, I think we did our job. Did the job. <laughs> Are we going to see out the end of the round? Or... I mean, you... We ask. I think people are playing it out, so I guess you could until we see any any different. Okay, say play out the end of the round then. I mean, can't assume that what they're doing, right? Okay. Do this. We have no enemies engaged with us. Oh. If you guys are completely clean. I'm sorry that I'm newly over into your area here. Does it look like I need that area? <laughs> I do, yeah. so. Okay. But, Dad, I found my bacon. Alright, so if we're just going to uh, sit and wait here, then I'm going to step out briefly. Okay, so what are quest, we actually waiting for? Quest without Samuel. Um, so we're sailing, aren't we? Yeah, uh, sailing. Gotta sail. Yep, no problem. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. We're kidding off. me? We're off you course. freaking kidding me. <laughs> huh. Okay, so we failed. The sea is a fickle mistress, gentlemen. It's only, what, the second or third fail we've had at sailing? Yeah, I think so. I'd call that a win. <laughs> <laughs> right. And now we quest. I'm gonna scroll up Isildur for a Gildor's Council, so we're down two encounter cards. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Alright, you're questing for a lot against a little. <laughs> yes. yes. For sending us off course. Questing for 12. I'm questing for I got 26. That's 28. Oh, wait, no, that's 38. Plus then, one. Grant, you're sending 5? Yep. 43. Okay, 43 versus 4. On two cards. Here we go. <laughs> Make them count. Ah, that's a five threat. And I was hoping for another enemy. I have a, a hands upon the bow. Another and armor. seven. Okay, so that's eleven. We made thirty-two progress. We don't have any enemies, but anything. Where would you like to travel? <laughs> the the fog, fog bank, so all these ships can't attack. Done and done. Hey. Okay. So what? Where's everybody else at? Um, before the end of the round, I'm gonna play Island Amid Perils and pull Rumil back into my. So that's at. Now I'm going to. Um, uh, same. Going to exhaust Ladriel and... They're heading to the command post. Okay, I'm yeah. heading that. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Hello. 
Just give me a Grant lowering his threat and drawing a card. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Left behind, he's still in the card talk screen. <laughs> he's there. Congratulations! Hey! Hey, we win! We did it. Hooray, everybody! Hooray! Well done, man. You guys crushed this. It only took well, five yeah, hours. All allowed to go to sleep. <laughs> well, thanks for all the work you put into this, guys. This was neat. Thank you. Really yeah, massive great idea. thank you. This was fun. Really cool. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. How long did you guys work on this? Because, like, it was great. Uh, two, three months since April. Yeah, it's been that long. All summer. Yeah, I, I was saying when we were in our own chat that where, when you asked for volunteers to help, I initially I wanted to volunteer, but then I my second thought was actually I want to not, so I can just play <laughs> it blind. And that was great. Yeah, it was very good fun. I especially well, like like part of it. Like yes, the quest is amazing, but part of it that I never expected or thought about was just getting to interact with people in the community who I'd never gotten to interact with before. That was really cool. So yeah, that is some of the best part yeah. of yeah. multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's really cool. Well, you guys beat this on the easiest level. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you mean there wasn't easy to rub it in? I'm I'm just only slightly bitter, but um. Yeah, this is this this quest is easier with four players, and uh, none of you took on the nightmare challenge I said at the beginning. So, you know, there's there's more work to be done later on. I can just hear <laughs> the sound of salt pouring out of oh, something. Yeah. I, don't... I know. <laughs> it's like uh, a tinkling I, noise. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, we did. I was no, perfect. it was good. It was really good. We did. It, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. It was worth staying up for. Yeah, oh, I definitely. Think you guys are picking a scenario to to adopt this really. Lends itself to do it. Mm -hmm. We highly, highly, highly recommend trying this with six people and doing two on each stage. We had an utter blast testing it like that yeah. when we would do that. Do well, we have the card art now, so yeah. we should make a module for yeah. this. Or I, we're going to work on that. We just have the knowledge as of yet, so we're going to learn it. that. Well, it was definitely yeah, a lot be of up, fun. Give it another go in Nightmare, definitely. Ten past five in the morning in the UK. I think it's time for me to head off to bed because I have work in about eight hours. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Grant. Yeah. So, uh, also, you guys, in the future, if you play with four players and don't do Nightmare, you can switch to just two teams, and I think that should up the challenge a little bit uh, because it's not a third team to come in and help later on. Oh, yeah, okay. that's right. But I mean, it's one of those things where it's just play through this to, to, to properly get it tweaked. Oh man, we had what? I think four, three and a half full play tests that we could do. It's hard to do it when you're all distanced like we are. Yeah. Um, yeah. And all of those were with two players, so it was really hard to tell how this would expand to four players. And you guys are had fantastic decks and were able to just cruise through it. Um, we were right. only able to test with the four. We, we only tested with the four uh, on uh, stage 2A and then played through like that. We tested with four players. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, our team certainly never played together before. Like, myself and Pocket Wraith have played together in the past, but, you know, we've never played as a foursome to see how our decks sort of combined. We just sort of eyeballed it a bit and gave it our best shot. Mm -hmm. I think it worked out all right. <laughs> um, well, my team had, oh. I think we only had one game where we tested our decks against the standard Storm on Cobra Saving, and they seemed to work fairly well, and then we just went in pretty much with the decks we created for that. <laughs> Getting from I... this is that Wandering Took is the only one who can't beat this quest. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for calling you out there, dog. <laughs> well, this is really good, though. We we got to we got to observe and uh, and we have a couple more. We have a handful of major big time quests that are definitely epic material. Uh, yeah, we, that we have learned from this, and 
we will also make it a lot harder for all of you. Well, I look forward to that. I look forward to it. 